Oop. There we go. Oh, geez, my voice is so, so gravelly right now. But yeah. How is it going, Robuds? How are we all doing? It has been quite some time since my last stream. It's been two weeks, two and a half, I think. Uh, got a bucket of chicken. How are you guys? I'm doing good. I just had a big fat, uh, Big fat meal, so I'm just very stuffed. I am just stuffed full of tempura and rice and gyoza and sushi and edamame. I am, I ate way too much for dinner. But yeah, so I'm just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. I'm just not shooting e ball outside of the school. But yeah, today it's gonna get back into Pokemon. You know, um, I just added you guys uh, the chat up on the screen. I just realized you can't really see, can't really see the thing because of how I layered it. Uh, I probably should change up how the chat works, but I'll do that at a later time. But how about let's just change it over to the uh, gaming side of things. There we go. Hopefully it'll show up. Is it going to show up? Okay, there we go. Cool, cool. So yeah, how have you guys been? Because I've been worked crazy hard in the past week. I think while I train some more Pokemon, I will uh, just tell you guys everything that happened in the past couple weeks. Let me turn... All right, let me take off my mask. There we go. So yeah, let's see. Who are we gonna train today? Just gonna do a little bit of a training session like we did last stream. So let me just get some... Who are our lower leveled Pokemon? These guys are all level 80. So how about... Let's get Yummy Hands back up. And then peeking. Definitely need to go in here. Uh, yeah, let's get Iris and Light Bulb. Is this one Light Bulb? Oh, this one's just regular Luxray. Yeah, Weiss. Oh, yeah, definitely want to get Weiss up to like level 100. Let's see, who else do we got? I guess we can train Honey Walnut. Osmos too. Oh, it's been so long since I've last stream. I totally forgot that I need to silence my phone. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well do Dragapult as well. Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's. How about let's do Honey Walnut and then add Taro. There we go. Uh, oh shoot. Let's go to the entrance. So tired after today, but I'm glad it's over. Nice. Uh, working hard there, Razor Sketch. Oh, making pork shrimp meatball soup and now I have a headache. Oh no. Oh, I hope you feel better. What, um, did you get a headache? Is it just all the forming of the meatballs and all that stuff or just breathing in shrimp fumes or something holy crash for spring break nice nice i just had to work the entire spring break it was not fun because uh like i mentioned last stream i was gone for sakura con in seattle and so i was there uh, for, like, five days, and then on, uh, what's it, took a plane, uh, at nighttime, and we arrived at, like, one or two, and then that afternoon of that day that I got back, I had to go to work, and I was working seven days in a row, so, yeah, the past seven days have been very crazy for me. My legs hurt so bad. 
My knees are killing me. So yeah, I'm just ready to just... Just relax and stuff. But I couldn't say no to work because I have to get that bread. I can't be girl bossing. Uh, if I'm not, like, working, so... Plus, I gotta make up for the five days that I was away from work. But yeah. I was sick all spring break, so I couldn't get any VTuber cooking done. Aw, oh, dang. VTuber cooking? What, you like watching Onigiri? She's been doing some fun stuff. Or I guess Giri and Bao have been doing cooking streams lately, haven't they? But yeah, off- or not off Kai. I've, I've got off Kai on the brain because that's the next con I'm going to. But uh, what's it? Uh, Sakura Khan was really fun. I really liked being there. Uh, Seattle was a great place. Oh, um, uh, your computer crashed CT1. I, I hope it's all better now. Assuming I can see you in the chat. Yeah, Seattle was super fun. How do I play this game again? Oh yeah, I need to get off. Let me ride on. Yeah, Seattle was super fun. Uh, arrived there and it was only raining for one day. And yeah. Let's see, we need to make sandwich number 80. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm going ham, exactly. Good old ham sandwich. And I don't remember which pick we used. Just do the heroic sword, because that one seems kind of neat. Do these picks do anything? I don't feel like they do anything. But yeah, the convention was really fun. And thank you to everybody who came out and saw me at the convention. Uh, just chilling out at Geo's booth, helping out with sales and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, shout out to the uh, to the person who recognized me and gave me this giant fan. Didn't even s well, uh, the person did say something. They just said, "Hey, I like your content," and then they gave me a fan, and you know, one of those like folding fans, and it just said hentai on it. And it is great. I'm trying to figure out a way on how to display that in my room. So thank you to whoever you are. Didn't even give me a chance to ask your name, bro. But yeah, that was a little that was a little fun uh, random moment. Yeah. And also thank you to everybody who came up to the booth and bought some stuff and all that. And yeah. Definitely wanna go. Definitely wanna go next year. Yeah, super fun, but I honestly didn't get as much stuff as I thought I would because Bandai was there at the event and usually, usually when Bandai sponsors a con or when they make an appearance at a con, normally they'll have a lot of good Gunpla kits, but because of the gun, the, what's it, the Gundam Seed Freedom movie, they only sold Gundam Seed uh, kits. So I was very disappointed in that sense because I don't think anybody outside of Asia likes Gundam Seed. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like Gundam Seed Astray. I could buy unlimited numbers of Astray model kits. But when it comes to regular Gundam Seed, eh. They must have been a big fan, oh my gosh. Oh, you. Uh, but yeah, Bandai was a little bit disappointing. Let's see, what other cool stuff were there? Uh, let's see, bunch of doujins. Uh, let's see, Faku was there. Let's see, Gamer Sups. Omo Cat. Omo Cat only had the Hollow Meat stuff, so or the recent Hollow Meat stuff. So I didn't really get what I was hoping to get. Uh, out of it. I was wanting to get a sauna t-shirt because I have the sauna jacket but yeah and there's also no common Rider stuff at the merchandise hall 
or like nobody was selling common Rider goods, which really sucks. But on the Tokusatsu side of things, I did see one person cosplay Ichinose, who is the main rider for Kamen Rider Gotchard. And he had the Gotchard driver. And then I saw one... I think I saw one person dressed up as Ryuki. And then I also saw a person who was dressed up as the Red Boon Boonger. Is that... is that... Yeah, Red... Uh, Boon Red. I think that's its name. But yeah. Super neat. And let's see, what other cool cosplays did I see? Uh, you always... you can't go to a con without seeing somebody dressed up as a Gundam. And at this con I saw a Gundam Ariel cosplayer. I think they were the only Gundams that I saw. Because usually I'll see like two robot cosplays. But yeah, only saw the Gundam Ariel. Uh, Maka, did you see the new episode of Smiling Friends? I did see the new episode of Smiling Friends. I think that this is probably my favorite episode so far. I really liked Gwimbly. The star of my childhood. Everybody remembers Gwimbly too. My favorite video game. Uh, but yeah. Cannot wait until the other new episodes coming out on May 12th. I think. But yeah. But yeah, the con was really fun. I am haven't had the chance to... I haven't had the chance to... What's it? Uh, put together the... Uh, I'm losing my brain. It's been so long since I've streamed. Uh, I haven't been able to put together the vlog. That's what it is. So, because I have a lot of footage, but I'm not sure how many how many seconds of that footage are, or you know how much of the footage is going to be in the vlog, because it's mainly just B-roll footage. Because actually during the con I didn't film as much as I probably should have. Uh, but yeah, there's still a little bit I need to film. It's mainly showing off the merch that I got, and then I also do need to record voiceover because it's not going to be. Because in the footage that I shot, I didn't talk at all in the footage. So I wanted it to be more so like... If you guys have ever seen Eddie Burback's videos, I wanted the video to be more like that style of vlog. And not, you know, a vlog where I have a mic attached to me while at a convention and just like talking through. Because I didn't want to... Because I'm doing the editing for this one, I'm not... Well, I'll probably hand off some of the editing, editing to Zarkaren. But for the most part, I'm going to be editing this vlog, and I didn't want to do subtitles. So, plus, I don't even have a little mini mic to carry around with me during the con, so... It was just a bunch of B-roll footage. And yeah. Was there a cardboard Gundam? I wish. Uh, but yeah, uh, on the topic of Gundam and Bandai. So... Bandai, usually they'll have like clear model kits or some sort of special type of model kit at their booth. Because every time they're at uh, my local anime convention, Fanime, uh, back when they used to have a table or have a booth over at the merchandise hall, they would always have like a, uh, a clear model kit or a metallic model kit or a plated model kit. And I would always get at least one of those. But they only had the regular model kits uh, for Gundam Freedom. That was disappointing, but there was a booth, like a, uh, what's it, a third-party seller that was selling Gundam model kits over there, and they actually managed to have a Gundam-based Tokyo selection, and I found the one clear model kit that they had, which was a cross silhouette RX-78-2, uh, except it's just, I think that kit was released around the time before they started shipping cross silhouette kits with the cross silhouette frame already inside of it. So I need to find a a seller who's selling a black uh, cross silhouette frame, which is very hard because Bandai just doesn't believe in the cross silhouette line. Even though those are their best SD model kits besides Master Grade SD. So I am very annoyed that I have to wait, like, 
a couple months before I can actually put together my clear model kit. Oh, Red Toad, why are you why are you pissed? What's up? Managed to finally get an, a real great Ava for a good price, but oh my gosh, you typed the wrong address. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, uh, what's it? The company that you bought from is like cool, and they'll just like send it or whatever. Or uh, I don't, I don't even know how something like that works because I. I think that maybe it has happened to me once before with the Gundam model kit, but I don't even remember uh, what I did in the situation. I'm pretty sure that happened back when I bought Gundam kits on Amazon back in like 2014 or something. But yeah. Uh, let's see, other fun stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a lot of art. I got two prints, uh, which is weird because I usually, I mean, when I go to a con, I usually get at least one print and one pin, but in recent years, I've been getting like three or four prints, so to just walk out with two prints is a little bit strange for me, and only one of them was a 11 by 17. I got one 11 by 17, which was a Lucky Star print, and then I got a, a little... Like a eight by an eight by ten or an eight by or no ten by something or uh, a little print of uh, Cappy bars and I'll show those off in the vlog. Oh, that one just okay. That one's just disappeared. So yeah. Uh, if it's not. A deliverable address, it goes back to the sender or the distribution center for the mail. I see. Okay. But yeah. yeah. And then I got two pins. I got one Shinyan pin from Genshin Impact. Despite having not played Genshin Impact for like two years. And then I got a little Hatsune Miku pin. Which is weird because I, as much as I love Hatsune Miku... I don't have a single Hatsune Miku enamel pin on my pin board. So I didn't even realize it was a Hatsune Miku pin. Because uh, it just didn't look very much like Miku, but apparently it is Miku. So yeah, that one was from... Uh, I forget the name. I'll, when, I, when I do the vlog, I will put up all of the artist's Twitter handles from everybody I purchase uh, stuff from. But yeah... Uh, something also disappointing about Sakura Khan is that because Bandai was there, I thought they were going to have Gashapon machines. So I brought my entire little coin purse full of Gashapon tokens. And yeah, they there were no Gashapon machines. Thanks a lot, Bandai. So that just added another pound or maybe like half pound to my luggage weight. But yeah, at the very least, there's going to be a thing in San Francisco where they have a little Gashapon shop. So hopefully I'll be going to that uh, that shop eventually and I'll get some Gashapon good stuff. Let's see. Other stuff at the con. Honestly, when it comes to the Seattle trip to Sakura Con, I more so remember the city of Seattle rather than the con, actually. Because Seattle is just such a cool place. Man, it is just the better San Francisco. Like, everything is so close together. Like, everything is within 30-minute walking uh, distance. Unlike San Francisco, where it takes forever to walk. Like, if you were... If you were to walk from Fisherman's Wharf to Je uh, Japantown, it would take you like an hour and a half or like an hour walk. Or from there to Chinatown is super long as well. But in Seattle, everything was just in like a 30 minute uh, little pocket. Like the convention was really close to uh, the fish market where they throw the fish. And it was really close to the gum wall. It was really close to the first Starbucks. It was very close to a little uh, aquarium and all that stuff. 
it was super cool. Yeah, driving probably takes longer because of all the traffic. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Seattle is very cool. I wish I could live there. I need to give Yowie Hands some more ether. He's straight up Ike from Smash Brothers now. Doing his up B. Where are the stinking blissies? There's one. Yeah, Seattle, very cool. I want to go back to Sakura Khan. And yeah, I don't know what I would do in the next in the next uh, Sakura Khan, though, we'd probably have to drive pretty far out of Seattle. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I ended up seeing everything in Seattle, because I also went to the Museum of Pop Culture and the Space Needle. Didn't go to the very top of the Space Needle, just went, just sort of walked around the gift shop. Because Ya Girl is not good with heights. Did you see the Sleepless from Seattle? Oh my gosh, speaking of Sleepless in Seattle, not the not the movie, I've never even seen that. But the thing is, is that Seattle, you would think that a city like Seattle, or I guess not like Seattle, but just a city in general, you would think that things were open for all hours of the day, but it feels like the city of Seattle completely shuts down at seven o'clock or eight o'clock. It's like, because at the end of the day at uh, at the convention, the convention hall would close at 6 p.m., which is insane. You know, coming from somebody who's been in and out of San Francisco and things, you know, normally close at like 10 or 11 or something like that. But no, in Seattle, things just close at freaking 6 to 8 p.m. And that's really weird. Yeah, on one of the days, it was just super hard to find dinner. So we ended up having, uh, Gio and I, we just ended up having to go to frickin' H-Mart and having some, what's it? Just like some ready-made, essentially Konbini food. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it was super crazy. Because one of the days, uh, we just, I think after, yeah, the day after the con ended, we just had the entire day to ourselves. And we were just like, you know, chilling out and hanging. And a lot of stuff just wouldn't open until like 10 or 11. Uh, a lot of the smaller places were open, like small little bakeries, but those also closed at like 4 or 5. So it's very, it's very strange. Uh, it was very strange being in a city that's very much not a nightlife city. Which, to be fair, uh, I prefer a morning city to a night city because I'm more of a morning person anyways, or at least I enjoy when my sleep schedule is more on the morning schedule than being a late night schedule. So I very much vibe with the whole vibe of Seattle. I want to go back already. And it was also super great because it was only raining. I think I mentioned this before. I'm just rambling at this point, but it only rained one day out of the trip, out of the five days. So the other four days were just super sunny and it was great. And I probably have a very askewed uh, image, mental image of Seattle because I didn't really experience much of the rain. But man, when it rained, it was so cold. I was not expecting it to be that cold when it rained. But... Uh, but yeah. Surprisingly, even in Seattle, I didn't feel that cold. I chucked that up to all of my Heat Tech Uniqlo clothes. That stuff really works. It is worth your money. In fact, I wore... Heat tech stuff under all my clothes every day, and I was sweating my butt off. Like, geez, my CPU was straight up overheating under those clothes. So I feel like if you're gonna go to Seattle in the spring, just wear like one or two layers. Don't bring your third layer heat tech Uniqlo clothes. 
And to think your family wanted to go to the Al Alaska. Yeah, my family wants to go to freaking Alaska. And it's like, maybe I'm now prepared for it because of uh, my Uniqlo. Jeez, this is just a, one big ad for Uniqlo. You can't even buy heat tech stuff right now because it's out of season. But yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll be prepared for, uh, like, snow. I can be prepared for cold, just not snow. If you like the sun, don't go to Australia. You will get cancer. I believe that. But I do want to go to Australia. Australia is cool. I want to go to Cairns and see... Uh, what's it? Cairns is a really good aquarium because it's right by the Great Barrier Reef. And all the wildlife. I just want to see kangaroos and wallabies and all that stuff. All the nature. I want to hold a huntsman spider if I ever go to Australia. I just want to have it in my hand. Because unlike most people, I do not fear bugs. The only bugs I fear are millipedes. I do not like millipedes. Not my fave. I've only visited San Fran when it's sunny, too. That's skewed my impression for sure. I think, to be fair, well, I guess it is. Well, at least you, well, I'm trying to, why can't I think of words right now? I just cannot speak right now. San Francisco isn't rainy a lot. Like, it's definitely not on Seattle level of it raining, but overcast, it's still pretty nice in SF. Oh yeah, the fog. That's right, the fog. But yeah. I feel like in recent years it's been sunnier in SF because a lot of the times that I go, it's, it's pretty warm. But then again, that's very California where if you're in direct sunlight, then you can just add like five degrees to the weather. And if you're outside of direct sunlight, that's like minus five degrees that you have to account for. Is there a type of weather that's stereotypical for Seattle? Constant rain. That's the stereotype for Seattle. Oh, stupid Floette. I totally forgot about this. I got a personal beef with all bugs besides ladybugs because I would never hit a lady. Oh my goodness. But ladybugs are little poops, because when you hold them, they get scared and they poop all over you. That's why I don't like ladybugs. I'll still hold them, I'll just make sure to wash my hands after. I would like to hold a jumping spider. Jumping spiders are so cute. I love jumping spiders, if only they weren't so tiny. I wish there was a big jumping spider. Because jumping spiders... I feel like are the spiders that everybody is okay with? Because if you saw a picture of a jumping spider, they're like... Like, jumping spiders are the nendoroids of spiders. Like, they just have a giant fat head, and they've got adorable little, like, nub arms. And they're very friendly looking. They got big ol' eyes. Jumping spiders are really cool. Totally forgetting that I need to, I need to, uh, drink water. I should probably drink more water. Hydration check. Man, what else happened while I was there? Uh, let's see. Honestly, a, a big thing that I, that's cemented in my brain about my Seattle trip was going to, uh, what is the grocery store called? Uwajimaya? Uwajimiya? It's a Japanese grocery store in the little Japantown area of Seattle. It's a 30 minute walk away from the convention center. And in that grocery store, they had a Japanese toy aisle. And I was thinking, okay, 
I've been to the small grocery stores in California and Japan towns, and they're very, you know, you get like a, a single four foot section of toys, and they're all just a uh, shogak, shogak, uh, no, it's, I forget the word, it's uh, the candy toys. So they're very tiny and stuff, but I went to Uwajimaya in frickin' Seattle, and they had an entire aisle of Japanese toys. So they actually had on the shelf, what was it, the Kiva, the Kiva driver from Kamen Rider Kiva. They had one of those, I think they had a Kaiza driver, but the thing is I already own a Kaiza driver, so I wasn't going to buy it. Then they also had a display for Beyblades, so that's why I had to get a Unicorn Sting Beyblade. Uh, let's see. They also had a bunch of Ultraman figures. They had... What other stuff do they have? They had a big Kirby section. Uh, they had an entire section for VTuber stuff. And yeah, it was really cool. I really enjoy uh, that little Japan town. I wish the Japan town was bigger, like Californian Japan towns, but what they had was really good. I really liked their setup. Uh, wait, there's these tuber stuff there too? Yeah, so in the Uwajimaya, uh, they had a little section just for Hololive stuff. And it was, granted it was a section, I think they had some Papa Parade figures, and they had, uh, let's see, I, I think it was the wafer figure, or not figures, the wafer, you know how Bandai has some of those wafers, and they come with like a sticker or a card or something, they had a bunch of those. And thank goodness I didn't see any Nijisanji stuff. Thank God for that. And yeah, that place was really cool. And there, they had a Japanese uh, bookstore. They had a, a Kinokuniya. And theirs was two stories tall. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that like I'm surprised because the Kinokuniya in San Francisco is also two stories tall. Actually, I think the one in San Francisco may be bigger. Oh yeah, it's definitely bigger, but definitely had more collectibles and stuff aside from just books, which is, which I appreciate that. Too bad that they didn't have any Common Rider stuff. I know Kinokuniya has Common Rider stuff, at least in at the New York store, but they didn't have any in the Seattle store. Very sad, but at least they had an event going on for Honkai Impact 3rd, and I'm like one of the five people on the planet who play Honkai Impact 3rd, so I had a great time looking at the little cutouts of all of the Part 2 characters. I, I haven't played Part 2, so I don't know their names. I think one of them just looks like Alicia, but she's got orange hair now. So yeah. Oh, the Kamen Rider one has Kamen Rider books? Nice, nice. Oh wait, I feel all of them have common writer books because I've definitely seen I've definitely purchased some from the San Francisco store. Uh are you gonna are you going to watch Sentai Daishaku Go Go Loser Ranger? First of all I hate the name Go Go Loser Ranger. It's such it's such a bad local localization name. But I'll probably read the manga. I'll probably read the first three volumes of the manga. And if the anime looks, or if the manga hooks me, then I'll watch the anime, but, or if it's recommended that I watch the anime right away, then I'll watch it, but, yeah. Quality over quantity. That is true. That is true. Uh, Seattle Japantown may be tiny as frick, but they do have good stuff. Did you see Peanut Butter Gamer? Does Peanut Butter Gamer live in Seattle? Man, I haven't even thought about PBG in a long time. I remember when he was on, he had the normal boots thing and that was the last time I watched. I think the last video I watched from him was his ranking 
all of the Harvest Moon games, which was what, seven years ago, maybe? There's a few Washington local YouTubers. Oh, nice. I don't know any of them. Know any of them. I don't know of any of them. I still rewatch all the PBG Christmas episodes. I don't even remember what his Christmas... Why did I run? I don't even remember what all of his Christmas episodes were. Uh, no, don't want to run. Yeah, let's see. I didn't really, at the con, I didn't have enough time to sit in for a panel. Because usually when I was away from helping out Geo at their booth, I didn't want to be away for more than an hour. So, granted, Geo was totally fine doing the booth themselves. They've solo boothed, uh before, but I just felt bad leaving them alone at the booth, so it's like, okay, I'm only gonna limit myself being away from the booth for just an hour or, you know, around that. So, I didn't really see as much as I wanted to. There was one panel which was the History of Mecha anime, and that was a... that was hosted by the... I think the mech... or, like, one of the animation leads of Trigger. So, kind of bummed that I uh, missed out on that, but at the same time, depending on what time it was, I probably wouldn't have made it anyways, or how long the panel was. Or, I may not have even gotten in, because I think that one was probably, like, the most popular panel. But, yeah, uh, maybe next time. He would review Christmas specials from Arthur and even so uh, poopy movies like The Christmas Tree. Okay, I probably have never seen a Christmas special because that does not sound familiar. Yeah, I have not really... Uh, I have not watched a lot of peebs. Oh, wow, subs? We should, uh, we should see when emotes happen. Oh, yeah, that's right! So, as of today, I have joined the Twitch Partner Program. So now on Twitch, you can subscribe. And also, uh, something bits. Can you tell I don't use Twitch? Or, like, am familiar with the economy of Twitch? Because I don't know what bits are. Uh, I definitely do need to make some emotes and stuff. And I feel like... Uh... I feel like... No, I th I should probably start doing emotes now. Because I was going to say maybe I should hold off on making emotes until I get partnered on YouTube as well. So you guys can... So both of you audiences can have the same perks at the same time. But I feel like uh, it may be a long time waiting because YouTube is way harder to get monetized than Twitch. Twitch essentially just gives out uh, affiliates or partners, it seems. But yeah. Uh, let's see how much of these guys leveled. They've leveled quite a bit. Well, Aniwana was up seven levels. I think we'll go. I think I think we're good here. Let's go save and let's actually continue. Uh, what's it? Can you make the th the thumbnail makeout be the first emote? I definitely should. I definitely should make like a makeout uh, emote. Uh, that'd be really funny. You can also use free emotes via FFZ and better TTV, but they appear for people. You they only appear for people using the plugins. Yeah, that's the thing is that I don't think if I use those programs, I don't think I would be able to see them on stream. Like, see them on chat. Because you'd need the plugins, and I don't think Caster Labs would... Uh, has those plugins. I think maybe I can download plugins, maybe, for 
in the widgets section, perhaps I can do it for Castle Labs, but I'm it's not guaranteed that they'll show up in this program uh, that combines chats. I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I guess I just... We need to go to... Wow, look at the frame rate on, of this game. Five whole frames? But yeah. Let's go... Go to... Three, two. Let's go meet Amaris. Another girl I need to make out with. Man, she is... She is so stiff. I like her shoes, though. She's got very, very cool shoes. Mako. You have my thanks for all that you have done to help uh, the League Club and to help Kieran. Once you become champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it is not as if he and I can no longer meet. Boy, it is warming up in California because it is so hot. Time to take off my shirt. Ugh. I wish I could have talk. I need to make toggles for like removable clothes. Not like not like that sussy, but just like I need to take off like the cropped the crop top on on my model. Oh my gosh. So much better. Ugh. I'm sweating up in here. We should make a TTS mascot. I... Okay, that's actually something I've been needing to do. Is that... Uh, so, here. Uh, give me one second. So... I think... I think I've mentioned this before. But you, you'll see on this screen that so maybe I should have no I'll yeah I'll, I'll make the music I'll turn off the music but yeah this little character right here that's a uh that's my computer that's Dusty my computer because he's a little transformer this isn't you chat but which I call it I do need to make a chat TTS design so somewhat based off of this little dude but but yeah I definitely need to do that. I want it to be like somewhat like plant like because you guys are the robots, right? And that kind of sounds like rosebuds. So I was thinking maybe like a robotic flower looking android creature. Maybe a little a little fun little thing. But I think I'll do like a design workshop uh, stream one of these days so that we can all design this character ourselves. But yeah. Uh, more than anything, I'm glad he seems to be acting like his former self for once. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of the flight uh, enabled supplement used in my trial. Nice! We can fly all the time. Oh boy. Let me see it. We are USBs with the rose design that you... Uh, plug in. Hmm. Yeah, just a uh, spitball ideas with me, like in the meantime, and I'll write them down on my whiteboard and stuff. Something ball shaped. Yeah, we can do like a little ball shape. You can look like the little, uh, for all you Mega Man fans out there, what are the, what are the things in Mega Man Classic where they look like construction helmets with feet? They're like the Goombas of Mega Man. I think like meta, meta somethings or Mets. It's all about the Mets, baby. Me tools, me, me tools. Is that what they're called? What? You want to fly right now? Oh yeah, they're called Mets. Ah oh, yeah. All about the Mets, Spider Man. Cool, we'll be able to fly. It would seem your Agias has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, 
I would guess that it had. Oh, shit. Uh, well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there is a super hard course for my time, uh, flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you are ready. Press left stick while gliding. Okay, cool. All right, let's go try it out. There's a secret at the top of the terrarium. Oh boy. And for me to go. So long then. Okay, I'm in food coma right now. Oh boy. I just want a nap. I've got so much gyoza inside my belly. Wait, what the heck? Ignis, you're the, the what? Subscribed? I don't even have any perks that I've made yet. I literally just got a uh, Twitch partnered like, what, three hours ago? Oh my god. Thank you so much, though. I'll try to, I guess now this is lighting a fire under my butt that I really need to make it worth your sub. What the heck, hype train? I don't even know what this means. You'll have limited time to earn exclusive emotes. What? What is this? I don't even know what the heck. What is going on here? All of this in the Twitch chat is just like, whoa, crazy. Wait, chat raised the timer? Wait, what? What is happening? Oh my god, thank you, uh, Pixel Alex and Kitty Fries. Good lord. This is... This is, a uh, A something. Oh boy, I cannot wait to get... My three dollars from Jeff Bezos himself. And I'll give Jeff Bezos the money back as I purchase, uh... Transformers Amazon Prime. Will that figure ever come out? I hope so. I'm not one for, like, brand crossover collaboration events, but Amazon Prime, Optimus Prime would be the one. Or I guess it's not really going down because the Volvo thing, and I'll probably just buy Target, Bullseye, Optimus Prime instead. But yeah. What is, what is Hype Train? What is this? So if we get to 10 people subscribing, then what's it? Then it would make, it would be Hype Train level two. I don't know anything about Twitch. The only valid Prime is Pepsi Prime. That is true. And I do own a Pepsi Prime. They need to make a Baja Blast Megatron. I would, I would pay good money for that. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ignis, for the 100 biddlies. What is happening? Dr. Pepper Soundwave. Level 1 complete? What? What is this gamifying thing? I have no idea what's happening. Oh my gosh. I am so confused. As I'm pretty sure most of you guys who are in the YouTube chat are very confused as well. That's how they get you. Kind of looking forward to Target Prime. They reprinted Ravage to look like Bullseye and he transforms into a bubble mailer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I... Uh, I want to get Target Prime because he is the Generation 2 mold and I actually don't have a Laser Prime mold. Like, I wanted to get Toxitron, but just never ended up getting it. Wanted to get ne Nemesis Prime, but at the same time, I already have a Nemesis Prime in my collection. But yeah, maybe this Target... Uh, Target Optimus will be the one mold I get of this. Anyways. Uh, you get cool emotes uh, like this for hype trains. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do research on all of this twitchery and uh, all that. Yeah, let's get back into the game. There you are, Mako. Just the person I was looking for. 
Heard the news. You're the new Barbecue League champion, am I right? I'll admit it. I'm blown away. Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've made recently. So, now that you've had some time to get comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Sure thing, uh, Gus from Breaking Bad. Good, good. Just what I like to hear. Anyway, here's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Mako. You see, the whole academy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. And that time got me thinking, maybe we should have even more people come to visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or something. You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like, teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. Alright, so can we just email our friends here? You can use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We'll need to pay for their trips and such. Here's some to get you started. Oh, give me them barbecue points. I think I'll arrange for special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave it to you. Enjoy! Alright, let's just start the Petra Runt uh, section of the game already. So, we go to Kitakami. Oh wait, let's go to Carmen's dorm room. Ah, Carmen's sheets. <sighs> Ugh, okay, now we can go. And let's go to the terrarium and let's test out our flying thing. Oh, that reminds me, Mako, have you transferred your Pokemon from Pokemon Bank already? I have. I already did that a couple streams ago. So I'm all good. Oh, update on the package situation. I know where it is, and they can send another one. Nice, nice. It all works out in the end. Alright, so... Let's see, I guess we'll go to the midpoint here. As I assume this is gonna be like a, a little cliff. <sighs> okay, let's see how this works. Whoa! Well, and, and can I just like do this infinitely? Will I not get tired? Because usually when Miraidon or Koraidon, when they fly, they kind of get tired after a little, after gliding. Go to the disco ball in the middle of the terrarium. Gotcha. I just gotta fly high. Like the... Like the ending song to Tails' Root in Sonic Adventure. I made an Among Us joke and called my coworker sussy to my boss. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Speaking of that kind of situation, uh, somebody, one of my coworkers put me on the spot and they were just, they just said, Hey Mako, uh, can you define what a twink is? And uh, my coworker said that right in front of my two higher up managers. And they're just like, yeah, we don't know what uh, a twink is. You probably know what a twink is, right? I'm just thinking, uh, I mean, they weren't wrong. I did tell them what a twink was, but it was so awkward. Yeah. I am, I'm a little urban dictionary. At least when it comes to gay stuff like that.
So do I just go to the very top of this thing, or... Or do I, like... Or do I go into the outside? No? Okay. I'm on the ball. Ooh, whoa. What's this? Stellar shot. Whoa! Gold bottle cap. Whoa! Ability patch? Wait. That's a thing in Pokemon games now? You can change the ability? That is so cool. When did they add that? Oh my gosh. That is sick. Right, and time to die. Well, this is like my greatest fear whenever I fly in airplanes, just, just falling to the ground. Oh yeah, that's right. I flew in into Seattle. And this is the first time I've been on a flight in a very long time where I didn't freak out. Because normally, I'm very afraid of planes and I'm super afraid of heights. But this time, I was weirdly chill, despite the fact that right before I got on... Or right before, like a day or two before the trip, there was another Boeing, like, accident or like a part flew off of a Boeing 737 MAX 8. And that was the exact model of plane that I was on. So right when I saw the little brochure, I was just thinking, oh god, am I gonna die? But yeah, all I did was I, I was just watching Kamen Rider Gotchard the entire time. I mean, that's only like two episodes because the flight was only like an hour long. But yeah, I'm getting into Kamen Rider Gotchard. Finally, I'm starting to watch episodes. I remember I watched episode one like a month ago and then I never bothered to watch more. But now I'm on episode six, I think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll get caught up by the time episode 32 happens, which is when we'll probably see the final form of Gotchard. Uh, the patch allows a Pokemon to have their hidden ability. For instance, Superior has a contrary, as contrary as their hidden ability, but never comes across naturally. The patch allows it to learn it. You can run Leaf Storm setups. Nice. Okay. I have to see what good hidden abilities there are. Man, this is really fun. I like this. I like... I like flying with, uh... With, uh, Miraidon. Or Koridon. No, Miraidon. Alright, so do I go to... Some of you said that I need to go back to... Uh, Kitakami? Yeah, I'm streaming all this time and I haven't even started the last third of this DLC. But it's a good thing that I'm free for the rest of the night, so we can... I'm planning on doing, like, just an endurance stream until we finish the DLC, so... We're just chilling out. And we're just going to be hanging out all night. Uh, check out the little store. Uh, do you have the weird Pecha Berry? I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. The items, right? Nope, I don't have a weird Pecha Berry. I don't know where I would get something like that. Uh, go to mystery gift? What do you mean, uh-oh? Uh, okay, connect to internet.
Right now, mystery gift. Okay, so okay. Mystery gift via internet. Gotcha. Okay, that was it. Okay, freaking, freaking CT one. You saying uh oh made me think that I did like something really bad. Like, soft locking or something. If it was just something simple like mystery gift, you know. Alright. Oops. Don't need to do that. Cool. Now, do I just give the Pecha berry to this girl? I'll leave you to stop by. Take your time and have a look around. Ooh, we can buy clothes here. Oh, I can't even see my socks. Great. Is that all we can buy? Just socks? Okay, those are okay looking gloves. No, I don't want that. I'm good, thanks. Do I need to reload the area? Check the peach charm. That's the old decoration of sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things. Uh, okay. I'm gonna let's just do this. Oh yeah, by the way, I now have Tears of the Kingdom and Splatoon 3, so we can play that sometime as well. Alright, yeah. Let me reload the game. I have not touched Splat 3 yet, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I recently went to Costco, and uh, Costco, they have a pack of, uh, they have a $100 Nintendo eShop card, but at Costco, they sell them for $90. So I got $100 worth of credit for 90 bucks, and then I got the Switch token, or the Switch game vouchers. So with those game vouchers, you can just buy any two Nintendo published games or, or Nintendo developed games. No, yeah, Nintendo published games. So I essentially got uh, Breath of, or I got Tears of the Kingdom for like $30 off essentially. So, uh, yeah, it's not really cheating the system when uh, they promote that act yourself or themselves. But yeah. I found out Sam's Club is pretty cool because my family didn't renew their Costco membership. Isn't Costco and Sam's Club like the same thing? I mean, I know they're different companies because Sam's Club is owned by Walmart, but they're the same type of store, right? I've never actually set foot in a Sam's Club before. I don't know a single person who... I don't think there is a Sam's Club anywhere like near me. What? Uh... Should I... How about let, let's just get out of the area? Sam's Club? Uh... Sam's Club is... Uh, what's it? Is just another warehouse type store like Costco. I guess I guess I have to explain what a warehouse store is. Or like wholesale store is, because I don't do Costco's exist in Australia? I don't think so. I feel like the only Costco outside of the US is the one in Japan. Yeah, Costco. How would you guys explain uh, Costco. 
or like that type of a wholesale store. Basically, it's just a store you can buy things in bulk. And yeah, it's Sam's Club is the exact same as Costco. The only thing is, uh, Sam's Club is just a blue Costco. Let me see, maybe I can sell my key item to her. What? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Isn't Costco already blue? No, Costco is white and red. Like Tenga. And Peppermint. And Santa Claus. Uh, okay. Wait, do I need to talk to Karen's mom? Or grandma? I was cleaning out one of the warehouses when I found these. Not sure what to do with them. Do you think you can take them off my hands? Ooh. I got a... Uh, two jean bays. Oh, shoot. Let me change into those. No. God... I don't know why the Switch controller always messes me up, and specifically with this game. I never know how to... how to change up... Uh, or how to control these things. Cool. Nice. Oh, and I got some more stuff. Cool. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Nice, I just look like Carmen. Right, there's that one. Eh. Eh. Yeah, let's just go with the white Jean Bay. Yeah, let's go with this one. Cool. I look pretty slick. With a giant five head. Perfect for landing smooches, don't you think? Uh, you need to... Uh, to start this, you need to rematch the gym leaders and beat the ace tournament once. What? Okay. Guess we gotta do that. Man, I don't want to do that. Whoops. No, did not mean to do that. I guess we have to do some battling. I am not in in the shape to battle. I barely got out alive for like the past seven or so battles that we've done. Oh, wait, so how do I initiate battles? So do I just, uh, do I go through the barbecue league computer and just call up people? Wait, did you rematch Paldea gym leaders? All of my work has been documented. I have not talked to any Paldea gym leaders. Do I just go back and talk to them? So do I go over here and just like talk to all of them? I guess we'll go psychic type. Maybe you can't have a taxi. You son of a gun. Game free. Can you just let me fast travel wherever I'm at? So is this your last stream for Pokemon DLC? If I finish the DLC this stream, then yes, it'll be my last Pokemon Scarlet Violet stream. Uh, but I feel like 
I feel like I'll have to do another stream after this. You'll need to fight them again, but don't worry, they're way weaker than, than the Barbecue League. Gotcha. Ugh. But the fact that I have to do this over again... Come on. Okay. Let's see, water type, so, uh, whatever. Yaoi Hands has an electric type move, we'll steamroll. Why am I up there? Or why is he up there? Oh, wait, we can just climb. Or not. Alright, so let's uh, finish this stream, or not this stream, uh, this uh, gym leader. As you can tell, I'm already dreading beating these guys again. Hey, uh, step right up. Welcome to the Cas uh, Cascarafa gym. I cannot read Spanish. Volton Veluza, look who it is. I was expecting someone else. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Mosquito put you up to uh, put you up to this, did she? Feels like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges. Now look at ya. Already champion rank. You're like one of uh, one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life, what a great catch. And now this, our promising up and comer here to test my abilities herself. Don't worry, this old man used to face in harsh reviewers. Part of the restaurant business. Alrighty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called gym leader? Sure. Yo, what is up? Uh, Crossheart. First time in my chat, I liked, I like seeing all the cactars dancing. Uh, how much have you missed so far? We literally just started this section of the DLC five minutes ago. I've just been training for the past hour I've just been training uh like leveling up some of the Pokemon in my team and also just trying to figure out what to do in this DLC so you have missed nothing so far which means that this is going to be a long stream because I want to finish the rest of the DLC in just this one stream so it's gonna be a lot. I probably should have made myself some coffee, but I messed up because I'm dumb. That's what I like to hear right this way. Oh yeah, and also the first hour of the stream was just me talking about how my Seattle trip was and why I haven't been streaming for two weeks. But yeah. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well. What with being worthy of champion rank? Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river, and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. River flows into the ocean. That water then climbs up to the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kofu uh, the Torrent. Wow. But does he use Deluge, or do you think he uses BitTorrent? Uh, Ever-changing, just like water. Now come to see what I'm made of. Oh boy, let's see how leveled his Pokemon is. Good and greens don't need no cover-up spices. Get ready for fresh, raw old man. Okay. Whatever you say, Kofu. Whatever you say, guy. You torrent. 
Nah, I don't like U-Torn because it automatically plays ads, and I don't like that. That's why I use uh, Deluge. Deluge is like the best uh, torrenting, uh, torrenting program. Not that I use it, just I've just heard. He's the opposite of Guy Fieri, Guy Watery. <laughs> He'd be Dude Watery. Or Guy Fieri, it would be Gal, F Gal War Watery. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, uh, Crossheart19. I'm doing just fine. Just a little tired, because I've, I'm in food coma. Japanese food-induced food coma. Oh, what are my opinions on pretzels? I think pretzels are probably the best bread ever made. I love pretzels. I don't have them often. Uh, but I do like pretzels. Uh, I will say my favorite fast food burger of all time is a pretzel bun burger. Like, that's how you make burgers just way better. Just add a pretzel bun to it. Or sandwiches in general. Uh, just add a pretzel bun to it. Yeah, so my favorite fast food burger was back in 2009 or something like that. Uh, back in my childhood. Back when Wendy's had a pretzel bun burger. I know pretzel bun burgers are now, like, they brought them back at Wendy's. I just have not gone to Wendy's because Wendy's is stupid expensive. All fast food is expensive, which is why I don't eat fast food anymore. But maybe I'll... Maybe uh, this week I can treat myself to some Wendy's because I've been working seven days in a row. I'll... I'll yeah, maybe I'll treat myself to some Wendy's tomorrow. Or maybe Thursday or something. I'll get myself that, uh, that pretzel bun burger. Or I would like, ideally, I would like to find an actual restaurant that serves a pretzel bun burger. Because I've been looking for pretzel bun burgers, like, since childhood, and no restaurant serves pretzel bun burgers. It's a travesty. Ooh, pr uh, Wendy's got that pretzel bun baconator now. That sounds really good. Craving Auntie Anne's. Oh man, I could go for some Auntie Anne's as well. I just don't want to try their... Or I can't... I don't remember if it's Wetzel's Pretzels or Auntie Anne's who have the pizza pretzel with the marinara sauce dip. I think that... I think a lot of those gimmick pretzels are just kind of dumb. I just want a regular... Oh uh, jeez. Oh god. Sweet potato tempura is coming back. Uh, I just want a regular pretzel with, like, not even, like, a cheese dip. Like, I think a, when it comes to pretzels, the pretzel should be so good that you don't need a dip sauce. Those pizza pretzels slap. I mean, look, I, I'm not saying that the pizza pretzels don't slap. They are very good. However... They taste exactly like a pizza. And at that point, if I'm paying $7 for a... No, I think the last... I had a pizza pretzel at the mall like a couple months ago. And I think it was like $7.99 for that. And I'm just thinking, look, if I'm paying $7.99 for a single, like a tiny, a tiny ass pretzel or pizza in the shape of a pretzel. It's like, I'm just going to go to a pizza place and get an actual pizza for like 16 bucks. Wait, there's a Little Caesars pizza uh, pretzel crust pizza? Is that what I'm reading? Yes? Okay, I have to go to Little Caesars and get myself a pizza or a uh, pretzel crust pizza then. I really put on the pressure. 
Yes, I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera's seal, uh, seal of approval. What a catch. A wildest currents, for better or worse, pull in everything around them and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew, your youthful vigor's got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that old man Kofu's flown and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and you come back to see me again now, you hear? Oh, man. I shouldn't even be in the mood for pizza because I actually had pizza last night. I had some good old pepperoni and mushroom. One of my favorite combos. What's your guys' favorite pizza toppings? Because I think I've already talked about how I unironically like liked the cursed pizza. Pineapple and pizza. But I gotta say, I said this once before and I'll say it again. Pineapple pizza is only bad because society tells you that it's bad. Break free from the status quo and enjoy pineapple pizza. But yeah, I think pineapple pizza is good. Uh, there's this one very weird Japanese combo, which is uh, sweet corn and kewpie mayo. I really enjoy that on pizza. Uh, I'm actually one of the few people that actually like sardines and anchovies on pizza. Uh, it's just very hard to find, so I always have to find... I have to buy sardines and, uh, and anchovies, like, dried up separately and add them onto the pizza myself. Let's see, artichoke is also really good on pizza. I really love artichoke and spinach on pizza. Holy, holy moly. Spinach artichoke pizza is so good. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just flying. All right, so let's go. Let's go hang out with Larry. Is he going to be a normal type or is he going to be flying type? Either way, Yowie Hands is going to sweep. Thank you, Kitty Fries. Spinach artichoke pizza is underrated. Freaking love spinach, and I love artichokes. Uh, where is... Oh, there's the restaurant. Wait. No, I have to go to the... The league building. The power of Yaoi cannot be denied. That is true. How things that you get on your pizzas? Chicken and mushrooms? Those are also very good. Mushrooms are like a must for pizza for me. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but it seems I've got a visitor with no appointment instead. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything, I assure you. Oh, of course, it's no problem. La Primera is my boss, so I have to do as she says, but now she's ordering students around? I see. So you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the academy. Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. I'd never let myself get roped in, in like that. Well, let's knock off this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? Let's head to the treasure, uh, treasure eatery then. Sure thing, Larry, let's go. Let me beat your ass. Uh, you already faced me during the elite test, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as a gym leader. I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal, as in plain, average, unremarkable, run-of-the-mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. I'm about as as ordinary as you can get. People, Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor. Something weird, something bizarre. 
At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. Boy, do I relate to that, Larry. When all's said and done, simplicity is strongest. I like that he has square pupils. I really enjoy that, actually. That's a really fun design. Ah, oh, Razor Sketch, you can't handle mushrooms? What? Well, that just means more mushrooms for me, then. More mushrooms for the rest of us. Plain cheese is kind of underrated, TBH. Honestly... Honestly, I kind of agree. Plain pizza... Although, I think eating plain pizza is not for me. I like ordering a plain pizza just so that I can add... I have a blank canvas to add my own toppings onto. That's why I like plain pizza. Uh, oh yeah, keep Pokemon. I love making my own pizza uh, with from scratch meatballs. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh man, freaking! Uh, one day I was just hanging out with uh, Geo, and Geo made pizza, and it was a pesto pizza, and that was the bomb. I love that stuff. Oh my gosh. Gia, next time we hang out, you need to make some pesto pizza, because that was really good. I want to make all kinds of pizzas. I want to make Scarla's effed up looking pizzas. Scarla Yonaguni, the only good thing about Michi Sanji. I want to make her candy cane pizza that looks like straight up horror movie gore. Pesto anything is so bomb, TBH. That is true. I used to work at a Shakey's, and for my breaks, they'd let me make my own pizza where I experimented with a lot of toppings. Ooh, nice. Sounds fun. Man, what's... I'm trying to think of pizza toppings. Like, if I was given unlimited ingredients and just whatever I wanted to put on a pizza, what would I put on a pizza? I think... I think I would put some raw tuna on it. Let's see. Yeah, definitely raw tuna, because raw tuna is pretty good. I'm not sure how raw tuna would taste with cheese, though. But you know what? It would probably be good. Yeah, we'll put little cubes of raw tuna. Probably some tofu on the pizza, like finely diced tofu. Uh, add some sesame seeds on it. Add some chopped seaweed. Let's see. Lather it in okonomi sauce. Yeah, I think that would be a good pizza. Ooh, a takoyaki pizza. That would be good. Hmm. Ooh, I just thought of something like a taco pizza. Or it's a pizza, but you have like little, like, crushed up, like, taco shell bits on it, and you add, like, uh, the salsa and the, uh, uh, what's it? The pico, what was it called? Pico de gallo? Uh, put that on the pizza and all that stuff. That'd be really good. Hear me out, okay? What if I got a pizza base? Okay. Pizza base. And put sauce on it. Okay. And then some cheese. Okay. And then cooked it. Hmm. You should put some more stuff on the pizza, not just put the cheese in the sauce. You're a bit too much of an... Uh, for an average Joe like me to handle. But I think I understand now why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. 
There's scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well-trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I'll be strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours. So, I'll call it a day. Ain't that relatable. Spam on pizza, that is good. I would highly recommend, because I've put spam on my little homemade tiny pizzas. Hmm, CT1's got the right idea. Red Toad, just do everything you said, but then add some pineapple. Actually, I just had a genius idea. So, uh, for those of you who know, one of my favorite recipes to cook is actually a Pokemon recipe, or is a Pokemon-inspired recipe. So, I played Sword and Shield so much, even though I hate that game, that I decided to recreate some of the curries in the game in real life, so I made sweet apple curry. And spicy apple curry. I mean, they're, they're the same thing, just with spice and no spice. But, uh... I made sweet apple curry, and that includes, well, apples, uh, sweet onions, and sweet potatoes. So I'm thinking, huh, maybe a sweet, like, like put apples, sweet potatoes, and sweet onions on a pizza, lather it in honey. That might taste good, honey on pizza. What do you guys think? Is there a recipe for this curry? I... Uh, I don't think I've put a rest. I know I definitely uploaded a recipe for it. Like, I think I took a picture of my recipe, but I think that's on my old Twitter account that I don't have access to anymore. I'll definitely have to make a new... I'll have to type up the recipe and all that stuff so that you too can enjoy Mako's sweet apple curry inspired by Pokemon. Yeah, sweet apple curry is so good. And the best part about sweet apple curry is that it's a uh, it's a uh, vegan. Which is why my family doesn't eat it whenever I make curry. But then again, whenever I have curry, uh, the protein that I put in will just be I'll just fry up some gyoza and you can just have that on the side. So yeah, my family doesn't like my vegan slash vegetarian cooking because they eat steaks, like, so often. I screwed up hard on my apple curry the last time I made it. How do you screw up on curry? It's so easy. <laughs> or, you know, uh, because the what... Uh, I, I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't judge. I'm only saying that it's easy because I make it all the time. But, uh, what part of it are you screwing up on so I can tell you, uh, maybe we can correct, uh, this problem that you're having. Uh, are you vegan, Mako? I wouldn't say that I am vegan. I'm more so vegan slash vegetarian aligned. Like, for example, if I make food, I will cook it vegan or vegetarian or as vegan slash vegetarian as I can because I still love making spam musubis and that's you know uh pork scraps and whatever uh but uh and yeah if somebody makes me food that is meat related then I'll still eat it but if it's something that I make I try to avoid using uh meat and all that stuff. So yeah, I wouldn't say that I am vegan or vegetarian, just that I like to try to be vegan or vegetarian because I, it's just a cleaner... It's cleaner for your body, and I... Typically, I shouldn't... At least my doctor said that I should, like, very much stay away from red meat. So, and granted, you know, uh, a hot dog isn't, like, red meat, but... Uh, I just kind of took that as being like, well, I'll just stay away from beef. Like, when it comes to meat, I have a tier list where it's like, 
I typically stay away from beef. I kind of not really stay away from pork. I'll definitely eat chicken, and then fish are just full game. And I mainly also put away beef just because the beef industry is so bad for the environment, all the greenhouse gases and all that stuff. I just think it's better to eat meat that are more environmentally friendly. So fish is definitely easier on the environment. Uh, chicken's a lot easier on the environment because there's no greenhouse gases because of all the methane that cows produce. So, but yeah. It's just something that I... Uh, it's just a sort of like mindset that I have. So, yeah. Like if somebody wants to cook food that's meat related, just like I'm not one to sell... to tell... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not one to tell them... Oh, uh, you know, it, this meat is bad because blah, blah, blah. Just like, it's just me. My body is just, I'm just going to put whatever I want into my body. You can do whatever the fuck you want. So. Yeah, it is more expensive. That is true. Uh, But that's why I do it, you know, from time to time. If I can treat myself to something good that's vegan or vegetarian, then I will. But, you know, I just think... I just don't take it too seriously. A lot of people seem to think that vegan and vegetarianism is just like so like strict, but it's just like, it's it's just, it's not something that you do cold turkey, you know? Just cut down on the meat and all that stuff. And yeah, it's just a dietary change. Nothing too crazy. Anyways, let's get back into the game. Uh, well, if it isn't my little challenger, Mako. What brings you back here, baby? Finally ready for that rap battle? Hold on. You're telling me La Primera sent you to check on my gym? So, instead of her, I get you. She sent a rookie champion instead of coming out here herself? Doesn't she know who I am? Yeah? Sorry, I got heated there. Don't worry, though. You aren't the only one who's, uh, who struck that nerve. Oh, well. I was just thinking I'd like to see you again anyway. Guess this is just how fate has it. If we're doing this, let's do it. Ready to show me how strong all those adventures made you? Let's do it. Now that's the spirit. Come on, let's put a, uh, let's put on a killer show. Wait, so you don't get vegan powers? That is true. I don't get vegan powers. Ah, jeez. I keep forgetting his name. That's like the one evil ex that I don't know. Uh, okay, so there's Matthew Patel, Lucas Lee, Roxanne Ritchie, the Katayanagi twins, Gideon Graves. Who is Todd? Todd Ingram, that's his name. That's his name. I always forget Todd Ingram's name because his name just sounds so normal. But yeah. Feels like just yesterday that you were here for your gym test. Now you're all championed up and out doing errands for La Premiere herself. Tell you something. Get, uh, you get to be my age, time starts passing by you fast. Boy, ain't that true. But that sentimental style is not worth my while. Time to kick... A rhyme and uh, hit the flow. Let's go. My spirit's burning. You're in to get this battle churning. You must be ready to begin. Our little champion is coming into her own. Come on, baby. Round me down to the bone. Oh, wait. Did I not? I don't think I changed out my Pokemon. Oh, noes. I don't think I have a dark type move on me. Oh, and it's a double battle. Oops. Okay, at least I'm pretty good level-wise. And then I guess we'll do... Liquidation. Oh, there we go. Hits the decoy. And now the heavy slam will knock it out. There we go.
Oh man. Another thing that that has happened since I last stream is that spring is now in full effect and I am super snotty and congested. It's a good thing that I'm taking some allergy medicine now every day, so it's not as bad as it would be, but still. I am straight dying. But yeah. I hate spring. I want to be in a place where spring just doesn't exist. Which basically is nowhere except for the desert. Yeah, curse these trees. First, the fact that trees are just spraying their seed and their seed is infecting my nose. I just want it to be summer already. I forgot, is NorCal more green than SoCal? Yeah. It definitely is. At least I'm pretty sure it is. sleepy. I think I will have to do another Pokemon stream. I think this stream will just be uh, knocking out uh, the gym leaders. No. Oh. I don't do well in summer. I get overheated way too fast. That's, that's weird. I feel like that's a lot of people. A lot of people overheat too fast. But for me, I honestly like summer. I don't overheat too bad. In summer. And again, I sleep naked anyways. So it's like, whenever I sleep, I'm just like, I'm just like hugging my Megumin pillow with like a fan just blowing on my butt. And yeah. So I think I'm good in summer. And I like summer because I could wear skirts and shorts, which is uh, my favorite articles of clothing. Uh, after Pokemon, you'll play Nier? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking playing Nier after Pokemon. I need to play another game that's not a turn-based RPG. Because I was thinking after... After Pokemon, uh, after Pokemon Scarlet Violet, I'll probably play Pokemon Arceus, and I definitely do still want to play that in the future. I think I will just start near Automata first, and then I'll have those two series concurrent after a month. Do you not have air conditioning? I do have air conditioning in my house. I don't think the air conditioning works well in my room, though. So that's why I need to have a box fan. In my room. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I hate summer because my thick head hair fricks me up. Oh man, yeah. I'm so glad that I got my hair cut... Uh... Last year. Because, yeah, uh, for most of the summer last year, my hair, if you saw what I looked like, or rather my human form, what my human disguise looked like, my hair was down past my butt. So it was very long hair, and it was very thick. And it's now thinner than it was before, but still pretty thick. But yeah, having, being in summer with that kind of, like, hair just, like, fries your brain. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I hate summer because I don't do well in the hot sun. I think I'm one of the few people that actually do well in direct sunlight. I tan very well. I've always got sunscreen on me. I don't know. 
I don't know how to really explain it. I just really enjoy summer. A lot of winter people will say, Oh, you only like summer because of the good memories you've got tied with it because of school. And I'm just like, yeah, probably. And so what if I do? But yeah. I do like summer at the same time after being in Seattle. I do kind of like the cold uh, to that extent because now I have clothes that actually can combat that uh, that coldness. But yeah, I think I'm fine in any weather. I just prefer summer because I can wear skirts and shorts. So yeah. Oh, whoops, I'm supposed to be reading this. Sorry for calling you a rookie. Hope we're good. I just wanted to prove, uh, to prove the strength of ghost types to Gita, but I guess I got carried away. You're the real deal, my friend. I can guarantee that. From here on out, Rhyme's got your back. If you run into any Vexen trainers or Hex inspectors, just give me a call. Ghostbusters? Now you enjoy this big, wide world to the fullest, you hear me? Later, baby. Speaking of Ghostbusters, uh, I've been on a huge movie binge lately of just watching movies in theaters. Because I've mentioned this before, I... My workplace is, like, right next to a movie theater. So, I've just been watching a lot of movies. And I saw Godzilla and Kong. And I thought that movie was okay. It was fun. It was goofy. A lot of the story didn't really make sense, but it felt like Showa era, and I kind of liked that. Uh, I wish Godzilla did more in the movie, because Godzilla just kind of... It just kind of feels like he, like, showed up. I mean, that's the, that's the same problem that Godzilla vs. Kong had. Which, I mean, it it's definitely... Uh, yeah, no spoilers. Don't worry. I won't spoil anything that happens. I just will say it is goofy, and I wish Godzilla showed up in it more. But yeah, I will say that. It was fun. I give it, like, uh, what did I give it on Twitter? Like a B plus out of 10. Uh, so yeah. There's that. And then also, in preparation for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, I actually watched Ghostbusters 1, 2, and Afterlife. Uh, not the 2016 one. Not because I don't like the 2016 one. is because, fun fact, I actually, I'm one of the few people that do enjoy the 2016 movie. I just wanted to get all of the movies in the continuity for Frozen Empire. Uh, so I watched, yeah, 1, 2, and Afterlife. And I gotta say, after watching Frozen Empire, I actually do... I am now a fan of the Ghostbusters franchise. Because uh, a couple years ago, back when Afterlife first came out, I watched 1 and 2. And I wasn't a fan of the humor. But now... That it's, uh, what's it? Now, with the, uh, reboot, or it's not reboot, but with the new movies, uh, with Afterlife and Frozen Empire, now that they're turning those movies away from comedy and more into just action movies, I do enjoy them a lot better. Oh, yeah. I really like, I really like Ghostbusters. And now I can justify the fact that I have a little Slimer action figure on my shelf right now. And it's great because... Uh... The nephew likes Ghostbusters, so it's like, oh cool, I can be a cool auntie. And... Uh... Have some fun times and just... Chat about Ghostbusters and stuff. And be a good babysitter. Whoops, I need to change Pokemon. Hurry pun. Do I have any other types that would be good against bug? No, okay. Oh wait, Iris is there. Totally forgot.
Oh, the PS3 video game was also really great too. I definitely do need to try to play that game because I know that the game is on Switch. So I definitely need to get my hands on it. Have you ever had those daydreams where you design or create your own kaiju? When I was younger, yes. Now that I'm an adult, I don't think... Like, when I was younger, I had a lot of ideas for kaiju and not a lot of ideas for robots. But the more I grow up, the more I have more ideas for robots and less for kaiju. Actually, I have a lot of ideas for common Rider stuff. In fact, exactly after watching Frozen Empire... I was kind of thinking in my head, what if I made a common writer but Ghostbusters? They'd be the Ecto Rider, and their henshin belt is the Ecto Riser. And they would use like little ghost ectoplasm capsules to transform into different forms, like a Slimer form or a Gozer form or something like that. I really do want to draw a Ghostbusters common writer, so I definitely need to do that. Uh, and yeah. Oh, the new champion everyone's talking about? Is it actually you, sweetie? Damn, this girl thick. Uh, hooray, I guess correctly. I suppose that makes sense, though. You were, you sure were strong. You looked like you were going, uh, you were enjoying yourself when you tried my sweets, too. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on an errand for the top champion, are you? I had completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cake to my staff. You, lucky me. Uh, may I, may I please have cake, mom, ma'am? Mommy, ma'am? Mommy, sorry. Very well, then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength? Uh, d uh sure, when you, when you put it like that, uh, sure. Oh, what fun. Let's go somewhere more suited for battling. Into the bedroom we go. Uh, the Ghostbusters uh, Transformers crossover seems right up your alley. Good thing I think I have... Because they're actually reissuing the... The... Transformers Ghostbusters uh, Ectotron. Wait, do I have that pre-ordered? I think I have that pre-ordered. Yes, I do have it pre-ordered. Yes, I'm definitely getting that. Oh, I cannot wait until that comes in the mail in July. At least according to Big Bad Toy Store, which probably means we're probably going to get it in December. Because BBTS is always like a year late on their pre-orders. Uh, but yeah. I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Mako. But such vigor. It was almost as if you had terrestrialized into a fighting type yourself. How many gyms have you been when you first... Uh, wait, how many gyms have you been to when you first came to mine? Was it your first? The Cortondo gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers just starting out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Primera asked me to go soft on trainers. Like a nice, like a nice sponge cake. Call it golly gee willikers. May I have some of that sponge cake? That softness? Soft mommy? I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. But opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show off my true skill. Allow me to knead you into submission. Alright, let's go. I mean, I don't know if anybody else thinks like this too, but uh, uh, Katie, uh, every time she talks, I just have like my canon, my head canon voice for her is actually the VTuber Milky Way. Because I don't know, Milky Way kind of does look like Katie a little bit. It's definitely not the booba, I swear. 
Heck yeah, Milky Way's mentioned. Let's go. I need to watch more of her streams. I haven't been watching her lately. But I do like her a lot. There's many reasons I like her. Two off the top of my head. Two very big reasons. Alright, so let's do... Whoops. Well, I... Nah. We'll clear it without terrestrializing. Yeah, I want those two reasons to be on top of my head. And my face. Alright, so now let's do tackle. Stretch. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh man, I've been needing to stretch a lot because I'm just doing a lot of walking and stuff around, walking around my store a lot at work. So having seven days of just doing that. And I'm dumb because I haven't been stretching before my shifts. So I've just been really like tensed and I need a massage. I need to do stretches more. Gotta stretch out these legs. Gotta work out my thighs and my calves. Oh, it's so sleepy. Ugh, I just want to lie down. Oh man, I probably... You know what I need? I definitely need... I need a projector that I can hook up to my computer. So then... Uh, because my mic... My mic... Uh, XLR cable is actually long enough to reach my bed. So I want to put the projector on my bed. And have my mic... Like, right up to my bed. So I can just stream from bed. That would be so good. And because I'm a PNG tuber... I don't need a webcam, so I can just... I can literally just... I don't need to set up... Uh... Uh, face tracking or all that stuff. So I can literally just lie down in bed and sleep. Or, not sleep. Uh, lie down in bed and do a stream. That'd be really fun. Milky did a remake of her lore, and she... Stutters in the middle of it. And I'm just like, she's so cute. She is. She is. Oh, man. Once I become a full-fledged VTuber, I want to, like, collab with her. She's one of my dream co collabs. It's her and Cinder. It, no, it's, uh... So I want to collab if... A big, big fat if I ever... Uh, get into, like, the bigger VTubing scene. It's like, okay, I want to collab with Cinder. I want to collab with... Uh, Milky Ways. And I want to collab with Melody. I would collab with Bao. Bao is... I like Bao. She is so unhinged. Like, I can be unhinged if I wanted to, but she is on a another level. That was quite the battle. I must say that your skills rival that of even La Primera. Ah, uh, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I'm beginning to think that I'm going too soft on people, maybe no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put in, uh, to put more of myself into my baking after all. I think I could try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortondo gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I'm hoping to see you again someday. Oh yeah, Zen would be cool too. Let's see, who would I love to... Who else would I love to collab with? Uh... I don't know. Who else I would love... I mean, I'd love to collab with Scarla. On just... On something. Because she's getting into Gundam. Lately, so I don't know. Maybe doing like a... 
gun plus stream would be fun. Chibi Doki? Maybe. She's she's definitely very high energy. I'm not sure if I'd be able to keep up with her. Alright, where do I Oh yeah, let's go here. Girl DM? Girl DM seems really cool. I think she'd be fun to hang out with. Oh wait, I think... You know what? A uh, buff pup would be fun to hang out with as well. Alright, uh, who do I need? This one's psychic types. So let's get some dark types. Or dark type moves out of here. It's mainly just light bulb. Oh wait, uh, let's get... Oh, come on. And then I think we need Teflon in here. We have dark type moves with Szechuan, I think. And then let's just get Yowie hands in here just in case. Just in case we need them. I forgot the potato something tuber you've sent me. I don't remember what what VTuber did I send you? That's potato y. Yeah, we haven't saved in a while. Uh, your beauty has come even more refined since the last time we met. Exactly, yeah, because the last time we met, we I didn't show my forehead. Now I've got my giant smoochable forehead, and now the beauty is coming out. Oh, accepting compliments with grace, I see. How wonderful. I hope you remain that way. So you're here in place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. That bewitching aura of hers overlaps too much with my own style. But maybe for the best that she sent someone else for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. Without further ado, are you ready to pursue quintessential beauty together? Quintessential? Without the quintuplets? Oh, wonderful. Let's head out to the battle court. Yeah, there are a lot of babes today. Maybe I need to have a makeout thumbnail with Tulip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tic tac toeable forehead? How dare you, Retney? My forehead is not tic tac toeable. Ah, the rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes this feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. A diamond in a rough that I helped to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working hard, uh, working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest emotion I'll allow is the beauty of surprise. Allow me to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. Oh man, I want a Kigurumi of a giraffe rig or whatever whatever this thing is. What is this evolution called? Oh, Farigariff. Uh, far, far rig erath. Oh, Pomato Master. That's right. Oh yeah, Pomato Master. She's a sci-fi VTuber who was like really into the the last time I watched her. She was like super into what's the what's that Bethesda game that takes place in space. She was really into that game. Yeah, what is that? Star... Yeah, Starfield, that's the one, yeah. She's really into... Uh, Pomato Master is really into Starfield. 
But that's because she's legitimately like an actual scientist, which is really cool. So, yeah, if you want to watch a scientist play video games, uh, go watch Pomato Master on Twitch. I think she's a Twitch VTuber. I'm not sure if she's Twitch or YouTube. But yeah. Ugh. Oh, speaking of Starfield, I don't even know what the big games are right now these days. I've been so out of the loop of video games. I don't even know what's good. Besides the fact that the Elden Ring DLC is uh, coming out in like July, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll play Elden Ring. I mean, not on stream. Maybe I'll play the DLC of Elden Ring, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I've already bought it. I've already bought the DLC. Because if FromSoft makes a game, I will purchase it because they're one of my favorite studios right now. But... You gave up on Elden Ring, though? I'm willing to give it a, a second chance for the fifth time. Yeah. I can't stay mad at FromSoft. I will say, though, the pressure of doing well on stream. I can, I can tell you guys this much. I still love FromSoft games. I still have enough hope in my heart to give Elden Ring another chance. I will just never stream it. Because I feel like this has been the case for a lot of streamers. Where uh, a lot of streamers who love Dark Souls... But once they play it on stream, they get extremely stressed because there's the pressure to do well. Because I think, because uh, I remember watching a stream that uh, Nyaner's, uh, a, a Nyaner's stream, and she was saying that she loves, like, Bloodborne is like one of her favorite games, but she couldn't finish it on stream because there was one point where she was uh, not doing well in the game. And that she just had to pause stream early just so that she can, like, vent out some, like, emotional frustration because of it. And it's like, yeah, as somebody who had to do the same and I, like, after getting my ass handed to me, like, for five hours in a row where I just had to stop stream and just, like, cry in my bed for a little bit. It's like, I totally understand that. So it's like, I'm never playing, uh, what's it? Never playing a... Bloodborne, or I'm never playing a from FromSoft game on stream ever again. Unless it's Dark Souls, because Dark Souls, I know how to destroy that game very quickly. Uh, but besides Dark Souls 1, I don't think I'll ever stream a from Software game ever again. So yeah, that's, that's the state of it. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll play Dark Souls next. Because that's a very easy game for me to speedrun. Or not speedrun, but just totally manipulate and get everything I want out of it very fast. Uh, there's no big game out right now? I see. Yeah, what games are we looking forward to besides Elden Ring? Uh, I can't even think of anything. We got what? Is the Wolverine game coming out this year? Uh... Paper Mario Remaster? Oh yeah, there's that. Oh yeah, if they make a remastered version of Cookie and Cream, I will absolutely play that. My very first FromSoft game. How could I forget Cookie and Cream? You can't. Oh, Stellar Blade is the only big game coming out this month. Ew, Stellar Blade? Gross. I don't know. I just... Like, I get people, why people like Stellar Blade. And until I get my hands on the game or see gameplay of it that makes it look enticing, I'm just like... it's It very much feels like a very shameless, like, goon bait game. That's just the way I see it. But, yeah... 
Who knows, it might stand on the same level as Nier Automata, where the story is the main part, and just being a gooner for 2B is just, like, tertiary. But from what I've seen, Stellar Blade just looks a bit too goonery to me. Oh yeah, Gravity Circuit. I definitely need to buy Gravity Circuit. I can say it's a mix of Mirror and Bayonetta as somebody who has played Stellar Blade. Okay. Hopefully the story is actually good, though. Yeah, hopefully the story is, like, super good. Are we done? Oh wow, we beat Tulip already. A shocking glow up to be sure. And I wish I could style my hair in the same way as Tulip does. You're the whole uh you're the total package. I expected no less. Beauty, strength, you've got it all. You know, if in my line of work, people who lack talent in one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. Uh. Met with all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption in their desperation to end up even more miserable than, than the mundane do. It would be better if those people, uh, for those people if they never had the slightest bit of talent to begin with. Damn. Don't fade away, Mako. I just want to see how far your talent can go. This can be a promise between us. I hope you won't break it. You did splendid today. Thank you for everything. All right, next gym. Where should we go? I guess we should heal up our Pokemon first. Yeah, I'm just yawning and burping all day. Okay, so let's go to Yeah, let's go to let's go to this green guy. Garusha time. We'll do Garusha after this. After this green dude. Uh okay, let's bring out out Iris. And I think we'll be good with Iris in Szechuan, honestly. <sighs> I hope I'm not being contagious with all my yawns. Is it possible to catch yawns? Via by audio alone over the internet? Or can you only get yawns just, uh, just, uh, from IRL meeting? Maybe, probably. Yes, it's terminal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. You've been diagnosed with terminal yawning. Avant-garde. You are Mako. No, you're the artist Mako Guard. Um, um, actually, it's the champion. That is of no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I am so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I'd planned to meet with the top champion today, but I now have canceled that plan. Today, uh, cancel that plan today. But now, oh wait, uh, shall we t instead talk of art together? Sure, we can talk about Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop or actually through Photoshop, uh, uh, Adobe No Bueno. We can talk about Fire Alpaca, talk about Paint Tool Sai. We can talk about Krita. We can talk about... 
What other art programs exist? Procreate. Kid Picks Deluxe. That's the true artist's art program. I want to see somebody sell a print at a con that was made in Kid, kid Picks. Yeah, Flip a Clip. Uh, Flip Note Hatena. Mario Paint, that is true too. A uh, Toon Boom. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, what? You came to the top champion stead? Uh, in the top champion stead? Well, I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Mako, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? Avant-garde. Very well then, let us head to my studio. Selling Game Boy camera prints. That would be awesome. You can catch yawns from still images? What? That's insane. I need to make a yawning PNG then. Behold, Mago, the site of Artisan's windmill. It catches the winds that blow across Paldea and, slowly yet powerfully, spins ever on. My leaping down from a windmill from, uh, to appear before those who would challenge my gym lends an added depth to our battles. I knew you would understand my reasoning, Mako. Though I believe I can spare my legs today, as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do not align from above. But I digress. We are both artists, are we not? We are no further- we have no further use for words now. I assume you are ready? Let our collaborative work of art begin. Rassius. I totally forgot that's his frickin' name. Oh, and I totally forgot. I don't know why this- this screen made me- remind me of it. But I totally forgot- uh, I'm not done with the movie talk yet. Because I saw one more movie the other day. And that was... Why did I... No, we need to switch out to Iris. Uh, I saw the movie Monkey Man, which is Indian John Wick. I say as I've never watched a John Wick movie, but I did see Beekeeper, which I've heard was Walmart John Wick. And I had fun with Beekeeper earlier this year. But yeah, uh, frickin' the cinematography slaps, the direction slaps, the music slaps, uh, frickin' uh, the fight scenes slaps. I loved Monkey Man so much. It's such a good movie. Highly recommend watch Monkey Man if you enjoy John Wick. Sounds like a racist movie? How does it sound like a racist movie? I will say the reason behind the name Monkey Man is because it's based off of an Indian myth. Or it's uh, Indian folklore. Which is uh, the Hanuman. Or Han Hanuman, I think? They explain it in the movie. But I actually saw another Indian movie... Uh, earlier this, I think it was either earlier this year or sometime last year, called Hanu Man, and it was about the Hanuman uh, myth, which is about a, a monkey. It's like a monkey spirit, and yeah, yeah. The lead actor, that is true, Indy Rodney. Uh, the lead actor Dev Patel, who is also the director of the movie, uh, he broke his hand during production, so all of the uh, fights were done on one side. Yeah. But yeah, he was so good in that movie. Freaking shout out to Dev Patel. What a what a legend. He's so good in that movie. But yeah, uh, I definitely want to go see it again. Uh, yeah, I might see it with my dad. My dad. Because my dad loves uh, John Wick so much, so I think I might have to. I might have to. What's it? Uh, what's it? I have to watch it with my dad.
But yeah. Uh, go watch that movie. Give it all your money. And what's a fun fact, did you know that Monkey Man was actually going to be a... A what's it? What? What the heck? It was going to be a Netflix movie. And fun fact, did you know that... Uh, Netflix bought the rights or the licensing rights to Monkey Man for thirty million dollars, and then they got cold feet. Uh, they got cold feet on releasing it because it is a super political movie. Uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with American politics. It's all Indian politics, but they were they were getting cold feet because of the politics in the movie, and so they sold it back to a different. A production company or distribution company for nine million. So it's like, wow, great financial decision, Netflix. Is, is this the reason why you raised the prices again? Bought the million for thirty, sold it for nine. That's twenty-seven or no, uh, twenty-three million. No wait, a uh, twenty-one million dollars down the drain that the customers now have to eat the costs. Go die, Netflix. But at the same time. If this uh, movie was on Netflix, it probably wouldn't have been the best. I think being in theaters definitely adds to this movie. But yeah, go if you like John Wick and like bloody fights and stuff, uh, go and watch a Monkey Man. Yeah, I'm like, it was about to be, but the producers wanted to release it in theaters, believing that it would do better for it. Heck yeah. Good on them. Good on them to release it in theaters. I still believe Netflix is killing cinema and itself. I, I believe that. I totally believe that as well. Honestly, not just Netflix. I think a lot of... I think streaming is destroying cinema. And I don't that mean that in just, like, movie theaters stuff. I just think the entire entertainment industry is just being destroyed because of Cable 2.0. We are literally reinventing Cable, which means it is the best time. It is now... It's... Uh, what's it? I'm losing my words. There is no better time than now to set sail and hop aboard your big old ship and make people walk the plank. Because yo ho hoy, it is uh, good to be hook handed in this day and age. Yes, let's all set sail for the Grand Line in search of One Piece. Back from the shower, would we miss? Uh, nothing, Kaiju. You just missed me beating Brassius, but also me talking about the movie Monkey Man, which I really enjoyed. Go talk about Monkey Man. Seeing you in the midst of battle, you are like a unique gradient, subtly changing hues. Righteous and gentle. Such contrast. I like the words to express it. My hats go off to you. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time I am made to remember how f how I felt so long ago when I first ventured off in, uh, into this world of art. Uh, ah, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection in the top champion's stead, correct? Well, that is of no consequence. Report it on my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Uh, what is Monkey Man about? Uh, curious? Uh, I... I don't want to spoil anything. Just know that it's John Wick if John Wick was Indian and took place in India. It is very good. <laughs> Alright, who... Oh yeah, we need to... We need to destroy that twink. 
Let's go fight Grusha. Gotta smash that Grushi. Alright, so let's go to Grusha. Yeah, over here. You missed the first bot on chat? Oh, don't worry. Uh, I didn't miss it. I just purposely didn't give it attention. But now that we're talking about it, I guess we're giving it attention now. But yeah. Hooray, my first bot. Isn't that... You know, I always thought my first bot was going to be on... Uh, was going to be on YouTube. Because YouTube used to have, like, a big rampant problem with, like... Uh, like titty bots on YouTube, but I guess not anymore because I've never seen them in my chat. Oh, you meant Kaiju missed missed it. Okay. All right, let's out. Or no, wait, we need to heal up first. Your first bot. Now frame it and put it over the fireplace. And then I'll put it into the fireplace. Wait, how many gym leaders do we have? Let's see. So we've got Iona. Oh, did we really save Iona for last? Wow, okay. Wow, so Iona gets the final pounding. Fitting. Wood. I'm actually just saying that. I don't actually mean it. You know, a lot of people draw fan art of Nimona, but not gonna lie, I'm not really into her design. She's not my fave. She got overshadowed by Rika. Huh? I recognize you. You here to hit the slopes? I don't recall the snow being too good today. Ah, oh, for real? I've got some important, uh, something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Oh, I see. You're here to cover for Gita. So your dream came true. Your champion rank now. You must be so happy. Oh, my bad. That sounded a lot more sarcastic than I had intended. Don't get me wrong. I really think it's amazing. Just, it's complicated for me, that's all. Anyway, you came to test my skills, right? Let's do, uh, let's just get this over with. Let's head outside. You'd best hope it's not snowing. Uh, so when you make redeems, will hydrate be oil up or something instead? Probably. Maybe. Or refill coolant. I don't know. Well, tough luck for you. Snowy mountains are on my side today. These league-mandated inspections happen a few times a year. If we don't show we're up for the job, we'll lose our positions as gym leaders. Gita always says it's just a formality, but I've already had to give up on being a pro snowboarder. If she takes away the talents I still have to show, then what'll, uh, what'll be left? Sorry, didn't mean to bring the down the temperature. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure the power of my Pokemon chills you to the bone. All right, let's get this done. Ooh, drew, drew fan art of Nessa and I need to do another one. Ooh, nice. I love Nessa so much. Make some more. Uh, thoughts on Peckle Mama. She's okay. I'm not crazy for Peckle Mama like everybody else is. 
she's all right. That's honestly all I have to say about it. And she's just, she's okay. I like other mom designs. Let's see, I can't even think of like more. But you know what? I like Narissa's mom design much better. I like Narissa's family design a lot. Anerisa is like, no, uh, what's what's her name? Aradia. I really like Aradia. I don't know. Something about short-haired VTubers really gets me going. Which is weird because I used to very much enjoy like if if a design had long hair, I would always like it more than short hair. But I don't know, since becoming a streamer and watching and seeing a lot of other VTubers, I just gravitate towards uh, shorter hair. I don't know why. I think it makes, uh, it makes, what's it? Silhouettes stand out a bit more if you have shorter hair. But I don't know. Anyway, that's just my that's my gush about liking Anerisa. Like frying this bear with the giant giant bush. I don't know why they gave this bear a bush in its design. What a weird What a weird thing to put on this dude. On this bear tick. Last one. Almost there. Altaria. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Actually, Rusha bringing in Altaria reminds me. I saw a lot of uh, Miku cosplayers at SakuraCon, and they were all the Pokemon designs. And let's see. I saw a dark type Miku. I saw steel type. Let's see. I saw ground type. And I saw flying type. I think I may have seen bug type as well. But yeah. Uh, it reminds me because I saw the flying type Miku. And she had, like, she had an Altaria with her. But she had the Pokemon Center life-size Altaria with her. So... Everybody was taking pictures of flying type Miku. And it was really fun. I do gotta say my favorite out of the Mikus that I saw was probably Steel type Miku. But Steel type has that like samurai sort of going design thing going on it, so of course I would like it the most. But yeah, it's got me wanting. Oh wait, I also saw water type Miku as well. Oh yeah. Kinda wanna cosplay. A Miku. I would love to do Bug Type Miku. Because Bug Type is one of my favorite designs uh, of that lot. Actually, I need to look at more. Uh, I need to look at those designs again. Because I think. I think I could do like a Fairy Type Miku as well. What was Ground Type Miku? Ground Type Miku looked like she was from Dune. Because she had like a poncho and she had. Her hair kind of looked like. Uh, vines. But yeah. Your burning passion. I kind of like it, to be honest. Man, Gita must have really had it out for me. Being someone there's no way I could beat. Still, no regards on my part. I gave it everything I had. I hit you with full force, and I lost anyways. Made me feel... frustrated. Makes me want to become a stronger, uh, become stronger as a gym leader. Put myself, uh, put more of myself into it. I thought my passion had frozen over, but you rekindled it for me. Thanks, Mako. 
I won't lose next time. We'll see. Try not to catch your cold on the way down the mountain, eh? Ozzy Canadian? Alright, one more gym leader. And then I think I'll take a little bit of a break from Pokemon. Uh, we'll still stream. I'll just... Maybe I'll play a little bit of Splatoon or something. Just for a little bit. But yeah. Actually, I haven't played Halo Infinite yet this week. All right, so let's go swap these fellas out. Actually, you know, you want to know who I would love to cosplay? I would love to cosplay Carmen in her Jean Bay. She would be really cool. If you become a gym leader type, what would you use? A steel type. Steel type 100%. I don't know. I just... Steel type is like a not... Steel is not a type I normally think about, but the more I realize... Like, the more I really think about, like, all the teams that I've had over the years, the more I realize Steel is very much a big part of my teams. At least, or I guess not with this game team. Oh yeah, we've got Rock Candy with us. Yeah. Because uh, I love Ferrothorn. I love uh, Magnezone. What other Steel types do I like? Uh, Caesar, I remember having it in uh, gold and silver. Or what am I doing? I need ground types on me. And then, uh, what other, what other steel types? Yeah, Metagross. Oh yeah, Hone Edge. I really like. And uh, Weavile, I really like. All right, I think we're good with this team. Oh yeah, Clink and Clink Clank uh, are really good types. Oh yeah, Teflon. She's also Steel type. I totally forgot about. Totally forgot about that. Would Skarmory be your ace since Flying Metal Bird? Uh, I don't know what my ace Pokemon would be. You know what? I think my ace Pokemon would be probably Magnezone. I really like Magnezone. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Alright. Here's the VTuber. Primera, your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my Electroweb. Uh, who's the what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita. VTuber versus PNG tuber, let's go. Say what? You've just become a champion and you're already helping out La Primera? Weren't you just doing our gym test like yesterday? You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to do a collab? I can see it now. I'll be even more popular than ever. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Since I'm here to do or since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. And I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Yes, here we go. Off to the battle land. Yeah, it's a good old Chuba battle. Oh yeah, Bisharp is another cool steel type. I like Bisharp.
I will say though, from my favorite aspect of Iono's design is actually I like I like her eyeliner. I really like her eyeliner and her eyelashes. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Welcome to the Iono Zone. It's me, Iono. Today's guest is our spanking newest champion, Mako. You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You were all we're talking about recently. I remember your gym test well. It was bzz, shocking. The stream's gonna trend like crazy. I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up. All right, here we go. Got that camera set up just how I like it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to get this battle started. Let's call the stream Gym Leader Iono Battles like you've never seen her before. I just like this picture of her holding that Pokeball with that look on her face. And this was a bad matchup. So my ground type moves do not work on it. Oh wait, Salt Cure. Alright, let's see. Will this do anything? Wow, okay. Okay, that did just enough. Thank goodness. Now let's use Earthquake. We'll just Earthquake everybody. Go, my Minecraft golem looking thing. The Electrode. Yeah, keep current Pokemon. Earthquake Gaiman, Earthquake Gaiman, that is true. We'll just be Earthquake Gaiman right now. Alright, Luxray. Yeah, we'll keep hurting Pokemon. Oh no, attack fell. left. How many earthquacks do I gotta do? Oh, Miss Magius. Oh, this is the last type. Yeah, we'll bring out Teflon. Just for just for poops and giggles. Hey, Mako. Quit hogging the lime lane. Let me shine a bit, yo. Do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, bring out Teflon because you're gonna cook. That that is true. That is absolutely correct. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. Be the invention that leads me to victory. Has anyone done an Iono fan art, but in movie streamer overload fashion? I'm pretty sure somebody has done done that, or like modded the game to be Iono. Oh wow, it actually withstood that.
Oh, that didn't do much. Okay. Uh, how about knock off? Hooray! We have done it. We beat all the gym leaders again. Our brand spanking newest champions hot stuff. Dang right I am. Oh man, I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but... Look at those viewer numbers. Yayono Zone's on a roll today. I'm on cloud 9. No, cloud 10. Having someone as popular as you on my stream is a great idea. I'm trending like the internet's mad at me. We should collab like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channels, though. Alright, I know about you, but I'm done. Tell a Primera what a sensation I was, okay? Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electroweb. Who's the what's it? I don't know. Signing off. Oh yeah, let's give the reports to Gita. Hello, am I speaking to Champion Mako? This is Gita. How is your inspection of the gyms going? You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Mako. All of them seemed quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the Academy at the Entrance Hall. I will be waiting for you there. She seems like the kind of person that would smoke and drink a lot off camera. Maybe, yeah. In order to keep up her persona, Iono just like drinks. I could see that. How much do you think Iono makes in one stream? A, a bazillion poke dollars. Ugh. <sighs> All right, so geez, I am getting like so sleepy. I'm, I'm straight up, about to s fall asleep on stream, and I can't do a sleep stream. So sleepy. But now that we're done with this, we'll play some Pokemon to wake me, or not Pokemon. We'll play some. We'll play some uh, Halo Infinite to wake me up. Good day, Chebia Bako. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? If it's manga, then sure. That's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with the new design. But more importantly, I would very much like you to hear your report on the gym leaders. And now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a little bit too public. Do you know of anywhere quiet that we might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? Wow, we invited her into our room. So this is the dorm where you live. Who says that I can't do a sleep stream? Because I'm afraid that... Okay, my, my biggest fear in a sleep stream is not like sleep talking and saying something stupid. It's farting on stream. What if... Because, like... What if I, like, my my gas is in my stomach? What if I fart and it makes a loud sound? I would never... Like, if I fart on stream, I, it's just like, okay, that's it. I'm deleting this channel. I could never do that. You already burp on stream? Yeah, but burps are one... Burps are another thing. Farts are something completely different. I 
I wonder, is this room what helped nurture your potential as champion? Yep, there's... Uh, don't look at this room with a black light. Is all I'm saying. Oh, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. In the near future, perhaps I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's get to the topic at hand. I'd very much like to hear your report on the... Uh, report now that you've inspected the gym leaders. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel was the easiest to face in battle? Uh, honestly, I think Kofu was. Of course. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? Katie. Yep, she left two big impressions on me. On my face. Then which gym leader gave you the most trouble during battle? Uh, who did I have the most trouble? Not like it even matters at this point. Uh, probably... Probably Grusha. Next is the last, most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most, Katie? Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. Your percep uh, perspective was fascinating, Champion Mako. I have no doubt it will assist me when running the organization. Please accept this as thanks. Ooh, King's Rock. Thanks to you, my schedule has cleared up quite significantly. So I will most definitely be joining the tournament we discuss at the director's office. I'm sure Champion Nomona will be pleased too. Well, thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. Thank you. Definitely need to sleep. Alright. Damn, you have a compost system? That's something I learned robots have. Yeah, I have a compost system. I basically put food into my compost system and I extract all the energy from that food. It's funny because I'm very much the garbage disposal in some cases. Like, a lot of things that people won't eat, I will eat. For example, one that always comes to mind is the fact that uh, whenever I'm hanging out with friends or family and they're eating shrimp, I I will eat the shrimp tails. Like if there is a tempura shrimp dish that they ordered, they always leave the shrimp tails for me because I just crunch through that. I love shrimp tails. They're my favorite part of the shrimp. They've got that very satisfying crunch. It's like eating a, a soft shell crab. All right, let's close this up. Let me start up a little bit of Halo. Let's do... Okay, text. No. Oh. Go. Go. This off. Let me get my controller out. Oh man, I'm so glad to be playing Halo now because this is... I'm pretty sure this will actually get me like woken up and get me into the... Because I don't want to fall asleep. Not yet. Well, actually, I have a thing to do tomorrow morning, so I probably do have to go to sleep. But, uh, we'll just... What's it? What's it? No, not this thing. We need to... This... Game capture, start up Halo. And wait, I need desktop audio minus, I think we did minus 10 decibels last time. So we'll do game capture, Halo infinite. There we go. Loading. There we go. Uh, Maka got a book it because I got class tomorrow. Have a good night, Robuds. See you later, CT1. Thanks for hopping by in the stream. I try to nibble on shrimp tails, but if I can't actually crunch up the shell the bits, I spit it out. Valid.
Yeah, a lot of people have told me that it's bad to eat shrimp tails, but at the same time, like what the thing that made me eat shrimp tails was experiencing eating soft shell crab. And soft shell crab is just crab that's like in the middle of its molt uh, shell. So it's like, it's the exact same property that shrimp tails are. It's just part of the shell. And the shell is full of calcium because uh, that's literally like what makes up a, a, a isopod shell is just calcium. So it's a great source of calcium. All right. First, let's look at the shop. Man, look at all these cool things that should be free. Like, look at this. Look at this, uh, freaking armor coating. That is such a good color. Got that maroon, like, pinky, like, wine red and the metallic purple. I'd love to have that. Too bad it is $24. What is this? Disgusting. God, and this is armor that I want so bad because this is armor based off of a mecha. Because in Halo 5, they gave grunts a grunt mecha, and this is based off of that mecha. And, and then they also have this armor set right here. I really want this helmet because it's just the grunt helmet, and it looks really good with the, the purple. But yeah, no, three for three are just absolute bastards when it comes to monetization. I hate uh, what they've done to Halo. Yeah, win matches, complete matches, complete matches. Okay, sure. We can do this. Go into multiplayer. Let's do Husky Raid. And then let's go activate the XP boost. There we go. Now I have to play this game for at least an hour. The yapping. Damn, what they yapping about. I think yappy is a grunt in Halo Infinite. I think that's what this is. Fried shrimp cheeks. Uh, and while I'm not exactly or what a shrimp cheek is. It tastes like it and has a lot of crispy shell bits included. That sounds really good. That sounds right up my alley. I want some shrimp bits. YouTube's going weird after working fine for several hours and I'm a bit tired. Have fun with Halo. I'm gonna chill. All right. See ya. See ya later, Arch Warlock. Thanks for stopping by. Husky Raid. Oh man, I hate this map. I don't like how there's just a single warthog that you can't move. Like, if the warthog had physics, then I'd enjoy it a lot better. Okay, let me know if the audio is okay. Alright, let's go. Oh man, this person... Wow, look at this fool who actually paid $18 for that armor set. What a dummy. Oh, okay. Right, let's lower down the audio to negative 15 decibels. I wish you could stay up. I uh, got work in the morning and now I feel eepy. Alright. No prob. Thanks for stopping by uh, for the stream. You son of a gun. You say that as if Halo isn't slowly turning into an EA game. Well, Halo turned into an EA game because of 3 for 3. I'll take that. If it wasn't for 3 for 3, it wouldn't be like this. Oh, ooh, what the frick? All right, I think I can do something. I mean, we don't even really need to win. All I mean, all we need to do is complete matches. So I can just have fun and just chill out for these matches. Enemy 
No. Yeah, at least we have hell divers. That is true. Oh my god, did you see that one interview with like the head of Xbox or something? And he was saying, oh man, it sure is a shame that hell divers isn't on Xbox. It sucks that they had to do an exclusivity deal. And then everybody's just saying, um, you guys rejected a Halo ODST game that was essentially just like uh, hell divers. What the hell are you talking about? You wish that this would have been on Xbox. Like, that's your own fault. Freaking idiots. Pokemon sure looks weird. Why people always... Oh my gosh. People always end up coming right when I change the game. Like, I've, I've done my Halo... Or I've done my Pokemon for the day. I want to play some Halo just to relax and activate a different part of my brain. Yeah, and uh, what's it? The team who made Helldivers literally pitched the game as a Halo game, but Microsoft... Uh, I think the official explanation for why Microsoft hasn't done a lot of Halo spinoffs is that, if I recall correctly, I could be wrong, but they said that they didn't want to cheapen the Halo brand by making a lot of unrelated Halo games. And I'm just like, what the... Then, excuse me, people who have a Halo arcade game, which sucks ass... I hate the Halo arcade game. It's it's so bad. It just... It's not a fun shooter game. The brand is already ass. That is true. It became ass once Bungie left. Actually, it, it became ass in the second half of Halo 4. No, it became ass... Uh, uh, in Halo 4 Spartan Ops. That's when it became really bad. But other than that, uh, I think Halo 5 onwards was when it really got bad. Come on, let me destroy that. All right, time for the sword. Oh, yeah. Let's go. No! Son of a gun. I almost solo run that. It literally cannot get worse unless you hand it to Blizzard or EA. That is true. Or Ubisoft. Can't forget Ubisoft. Because they ruin everything. A lot of game companies ruin everything. At this point, we should just only play indie games. Let's be real. It's pretty bad when I have more fun playing Master Chief in Fortnite than playing a current mainline Halo game. That is true. Oh my gosh. Just finished my essay for my philosophy class. Ooh. You'll do fine, uh, Aiden. You'll be doing fine. I believe. Believe in the me that believes in you that your essay will do well. Master Chief is literally Gwimbly from Smiling Friends Season 2. That is true, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been hearing that so often now. That little victory catchphrase is like imprinted on my brain. That's like my new ADHD sound file that's playing in my brain constantly. God, I love that episode of Smiling Friends. Uh, let's see. I've been into TCG recently. You play any card games? I actually don't play. Oh, thank you, Nick, uh, uh, Guevara for the sub. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Ugh, I'm so burpy. Uh, what's it? Uh, yeah, I don't play any card games. I collect cards sometimes. But I don't play any card games. I would like to know how to play some card games. Like, I would like to actually play a game of Pokemon. I mean, I know... The... I know the basic rundown on how to play the Pokemon TCG. 
I just, what's it? Uh, I just haven't played in a long time. Because I used to play the Pokemon... I used to play the Pokemon Online TCG. I was one who actually had the... Or who would pester people for their code cards in American Pokemon card packs. But, uh, yeah. What's it? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to play anymore, but I think I remember some bits of it. Yeah, the thing that I've been getting into recently is just Beyblade. I've got three, four, five... Six, seven, eight Beyblades now. And I can't wait until we get Beyblade Transformers uh, soon as well. Why? Wow, I feel like I keep getting double kills. I'm just in the right place at the right time. Or maybe I'm, I just am goaded with this game. Whoops. Building a TCG briefcase. What does that even mean? Do you, is it a briefcase that's full of different TCGs, or is it more like a Magic the Gathering exclusive suitcase? The new Beyblade X stuff looks awesome. As somebody who owns eight Beyblade X bays, they are awesome. I think this is the best Beyblade has been in years. Then again, I'm only somebody who has been into Beyblade for the past two years. So I have six Beyblade Burst Bays and eight Beyblade X Bays. So not the best judge of the franchise. However, I do very much enjoy these bays. Uh, I enjoy the X Bays better than the Burst Bays a lot. There we go. Oh yeah, it's a briefcase with a bunch of different TCG decks. Magic the Gathering, Pokemon Digimon, uh, Lorcana, Vanguard, and Pokemon. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I can ever get into big TCGs like those because I feel like updating your deck v based on the meta is would be too much for me to deal with. Oh, man. Oh, let me snipe. You know what? I'll I'll take I'll take one of these. There we go. No. Uh oh yeah, Mako, on a scale of one to ten, how fragile do you feel the gun primer razor origin is? Honestly, I think it's really durable. But I still treat it very delicately. Like, when you're rubbing it against plastic, it's pretty much invincible. But I have a special case for mine. Uh, it's not an official gun primer case. I just bought a Hatsune Miku model kit case. And I always keep it in that. And I don't let it touch any other tools because all my tools are metal. And I don't want the metal to scrape the glass. But, uh... As a tool, when you're using it on gunpla parts, it is very durable. Just be very careful about keeping it, like, storing it with other tools and using it. Uh, like, I'm uh, lucky to have carpet flooring, so if I drop my razor, then it doesn't break. But if you have hardwood floors, I'd be very careful with it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my review of... The Razor Origin, or that's my opinion on its durability. Oh man, I'm landing the hits, but I'm not getting the final kill. Usually I'm really good with the scatter shot. Oh, you see, yeah, there we go, double kill. I know how to use this weapon. Let's see. No, I want to keep my repulsor. There we go. Now let's swap this out with something else. I'll take one of these, thank you. There we go. That's what I like to see. Damn it. Pretty 
personally, I'm I'm just building a lot of HD kits right now and seeing if I can give them a matte or gloss finish when my spray can comes in. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, I had mine for two days and actually dropped it six inches and cracked in, in like a third of it. Oh, man. I am so sorry to hear about that. Oh man, that that sucks. Yeah, my condolences. Yeah, for me personally, I haven't had a problem because I've been keeping it inside like a, a case for most of the time. Oh, you have tile flooring. Uh, I see. Oh man. If I was into Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd just cosplay as Joey and only use Joey's deck, worrying about the meta seems tedious. You know what? That's pretty uh that's a pretty good idea. I like that. What was Joey's deck? It was like Time Wizard and Didn't he use like a blue eyes baby dragon or some some baby dragon? That's all I remember. Gosh, I don't remember most decks people had. I just remember Yugi had Exodia, Summoned Skull, Black Luster Soldier, and Karibo. Oh, it's a Red Eyes uh, deck. Okay, I remember. Yeah, Kaiba was all about the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And every time I think about Kaiba, I just think of Brock from Pokemon because they're voiced by the same person. And also Knuckles the Echidna in the Sonic X cartoon. They are also voiced by the same dude. Luckily, they sell it separately from the gate remover kit. So I ordered a new one and they Master Grade Barbatos and decals. Nice. Nice. Mm. The Master Grade Barbatos is so good. Husky Raid. Although I'm still waiting on back orders for the Master Grade SD Barbatos. Oh man. Uh, freaking. I should have. I should have been looking for that at the convention. Whoa, that guy's armor looks really cool. Well, I'm going to San Francisco uh, sometime next week or something. So I'll probably get stop by a Gundam store and get that model kit. Oh, we've got enemy over here. Oh, so the thing is I store it well, but I fumbled when I was sanding it. I see, I see. Yeah, it is a little slippery thing. Yeah, man. I'm trying to think of all the model kits that I want to build right now. Or rather, not want to build, but want to get my hands on. Because there are actually like five model kits that I still need to build. I need to build the Flame Toys RC model kit. I have a Barbatos Lupus high grade. Let's see, I've got the Master Grade Act Guy, the Full Mechanics Aerial, a Master Grade 2.0 Zaku 2, and let's see, I've also got the Gundam Aerial Rebuild, but I still need to watch the ending of Gundam Witch from Mercury. I, to this day, still have not watched the last six episodes. So, that kit will be my... will be my celebratory gift once I actually finish the series. But... Uh, let's see, what kit... Uh, are we getting a Master Grade Freedom? Uh... Uh... 
or Master Grade Strike Freedom. Or whatever the new Strike Gundam is. Because uh, I want to get a Master Grade of that design, or a High Grade if it's good. I probably should have bought it at the convention, but... Eh, not a big seed person. Oh, I do want to get a Master Grade. Or, sorry, not Master Grade. A Perfect Grade. Uh, kit. I want to get a Perfect Grade Astray. I only watched one episode of Gundam, and I was like, man, Gundam is stupid. Yeah, I... I uh, I can tell you're young, Red Toad, because that's your reaction. For me... I can only really judge a show once I see at least three episodes. If you're gonna knock on a show after just one episode, maybe, I don't know. Also, depending, uh, Red Toad, what Gundam did you watch? Because that's another real big factor. I can understand if you did not like Gundam Seed. Because that one's not a good show. Let's see. I feel like... Uh... I... I still like Gundam, just... I didn't knock it. Well, what... Um, uh, again, what uh, episode? Oh, you meant Gundam is stupid as in, like, an endearing thing. Okay. Sorry, I just can't tell tone when it comes to text. Have you seen the new uh, real grade RX-78-2? Yes, I did see it. And yes, I have it pre-ordered. Uh, but yeah, I know a lot of people are really mad about uh, the RX-78-2 getting another real grade, but to be fair, early real grades are so bad. Take it from somebody who has built a high uh, real grade a Strike Gundam. That thing sucked to pose. I hated that model kit. And it should be no surprise that I don't have that model kit uh, anymore. So the fact that we're getting a new real grade RX-78-2... I'm so happy for it. Because I want a real grade to display, but they're all bad. Well, I mean, real grade Gundam to display, because I have the real grade Zeong, and that one's a really gr uh, good kit. See, what other challenges do we need? Win match, complete match, complete match. Let's swap, swap this one. Cumulative score. Yeah, I can do that easier. Yeah, I think real grades that have that crappy uh, inner frame, I think the only good one is probably the Zagok. I think that's the only one that I actually want to still buy. And I mainly want the Zagok because I hate hate, hate how old the high-grade Zagok is. Because that thing was designed in, like, what, 2000? And it's... Like, if you, ha if you have that Zagok model kit, it weighs, like, the same as, like, two potato chips. It is so hollow and so not well put together. And it cracks all the time if you play with it a bunch and pose it. And it's so gappy. And it is not a good model kit. So I've always wanted to get my hands on the real grade uh, Zogok. Are we going to head out? Uh, all right, see ya, Ignis the Red. I'm pretty sure you said that uh, very much later. Uh, but yeah, see ya. Thanks for coming to the stream, Ignis the Red. Imagine a model kit you can use like a blunt weapon after it's done. Yeah, it's called uh, the Mega Size Model Kits, and I have one. 
And it is a chunky guy. Actually, I think... I think perfect grades have some bit of metal in them, so you can really just use them as a blunt object. Oh yeah, the new Gundam is a very good real grade. From what I've heard, it's like one of the best real grades. Yeah, I do want to get... Well, the thing is, is that... Okay, I'm a little weird. And I kind of am not the biggest fan of the new Gundam. Like, I think it looks cool. Just for some reason, it just doesn't really click with me. Uh, so... I think I will wait until, like, my first high grade, or my first, like, Gundam real grade. I'll just make it the RX-78 too. The only perfect grade I know that has metal in it is the RX-78 2 Unleashed. I see. Well, then I was right about that. There is metal in, in one of them. Oh yeah, I'm really not a big fan of the high new Gundam. That one is like such a weird design. Very ironic because I have a little model kit of the high new on my desk right now. I'm holding it in my hand. Just a little Gashapon model kit, but still. Alright, man, you need to get serious. There we go. Now let's get this out of here. Real grades uh, Sazabi is also good. And I do want to get my hands on the real grade Sazabi. That one's a really cool uh, kit. I really like how chunky the Sazabi is. But honestly, again, I am not the biggest fan of the... Like, I'm not... I'm just not the biggest fan of Char's counterattack in general. The funny thing is, when I first saw that movie last year, my favorite mobile suit was the Jagged Dolga. I really like, I really like that mobile suit. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I got you, brother. Coming after us. Oh yeah, double kill. Double kill. Triple kill. And again, extermination. Oh yeah. No. Oh, it just came for a Gundam talk. Let's go. Oh yeah, now now you're in it. Let's all talk about Gundams. What's our favorite Gundams? Because mine is the controversial. My favorite Gundam is from Gundam Age. Uh, it's the Gundam Age FX. That's my all-time favorite mobile suit. Just something about it is really cool looking. I think I just like how all the bits are just floating knives. And it's got a very cool color scheme. Just very regal white, blue, and yellow. Plus the green of the bits looks really cool. Windmill Gundam. Oh yeah, the Nether Gundam. That's the giant-ass windmill from uh, G Gundam. Let's see. Another mobile suit I like from Gundam. Uh, let me see. I actually like the Stark... The Stark Jagan. Which was famous for fighting the Kshatriya in... I think the very first fight in Gundam Unicorn. Because it was the Stark Jagan versus the Kshatriya. And... I don't know, just after watching that fight scene, it's like, oh man, I want a master grade of this Stark Jagan. Too bad it's P Bandai. So their kits are like very hard to come across. Oh my god, Crossheart 19. Gundam Build Fighters mentioned. Hell yes. I love Gundam Build Fighters so much. I am still waiting for a master grade Amazing Zaku. When are they gonna make that? Come on, Bandai. I will pay good money for a Master Grade uh, Zaku Amazing. 
Or I'm Master Grade Camphor Amazing. I do like the Camphor a lot as well. Ooh, the Goof is also really good. I have the uh, Master Grade Goof Custom. It just sucks that the joints in the Goof Custom aren't that good. Considering it's like a 2003 Master Grade and it uses screws in order to tighten the joints. But because it's plastic, it wears down very fast. And the weight of the Goof Custom Shield is too much for the, uh, for the arm of the Goof Custom. So my Goof Custom's arm is just e eternally screwed. And I have to take apart my Goof's arm in order to like, tighten the joints. Especially on the knees. The knees are very bad. I wish there was a resin, like, garage kit or upgrade kit that you can buy to give it better knees and elbows. But yeah. The Goof Custom. Amazing mobile suit. Ooh, the, uh... The Lefrith with the giant hand. Yeah, is that the Lefrith tiger or Lef Lefrith something? Something like that? That one's a cool mobile suit. Oh yeah, typically I like more Xeonic suits. Because I, I feel like it's no surprise uh, that I like the act guy. And that I like the Juagu. And the Zok. And the Zogok. I feel like it's very much stereotypical for like, uh, for girls to like the cute chunky mobile suits like all the amphibious Xeonic suits. But yeah, I've got a soft spot for the Juagu and the Ak guy. Because I like bear guys. I used to collect bear guys and petite guys. I used to have the entire collection. But now I just want to get my hands on the original Bear Guy 3. Because I just think the Bear Guy just looks good in yellow. Oh, the Lufrith uh, Jiu. That's the tiger, or that's the, um, the giant hand one. Why did I think it was gun like a Lufrith tiger? Is that the name of the manga, I think? That's, that may be it. Win matches and complete matches. Got it. You know, the thing I always liked about Zaku is the whole eyeball setup they have. One shifting glowing eye in an entire visor. It just looks so sick. Mono eyes are just so cool. Well, if we're talking about non-Gundam mechs, then without a doubt my favorite is Ava Unit 01. Uh, Ava Unit 1 is pretty cool. Personally, my favorite is Ava Unit 13 because I also have a soft spot for things with multiple arms. So seeing like the cross armed on the chest is really cool. And um, uh, Unit 13 using both arms to like grab onto the Spear of uh, Longinus and the Spear of Cassius is super cool. But yeah, if it's not, uh, if we're talking about the original Evangelion units. I really like Evangelion Unit Zero. I I like the mono eye on it. What can I say? And I think it looks better in yellow. I'm gonna be blasphemous and say that I like the rebuild uh unit zero more than the TV unit rain. zero. Oh yeah, uh Unit Six is really cool. Uh Kaworu's uh Evangelion unit. That one's a really solid design. I also do have a soft spot for Ava unit 8 because I... Okay, my best girl is Mari. I really like Mari. So I'm going to be like the only person to say that they like Mari. Because most people are always Asuka. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I just wish Avon Gillian model kits were more readily available. 
Because I want to get my hands on Ava Unit uh, 8. Or, no, not 8. I wanted to get uh, Ava Unit 1. And I want to get Ava Unit 3. Screw it. I just want to get all of the real great Evangelion units. Because I just have the standard release of Unit 1. Or, sorry, Unit 0. I probably should have bought the deluxe version of Unit 0. Because it has the giant shield that was used in... Evangelion 1.11 when they're fighting Ramiel. Actually, when are we going to get a model kit of uh, of the angels? I would love a model kit of Ramiel. Ramiel would be cool. Uh, Zerul would be cool. I guess you can just make a giant papercraft one for the for the one giant like floating eyeball, Ava, or Angel. What is the edgiest Gundam design, in your opinion? Uh, the edgy one, uh, Gundam The End, which was from Gundam Build Fighters Try. I think that design is a bit too much. I think it's a little bit too busy because it mixes design elements of the Gundam Death Scythe and it gives it, like, giant hands. And then it has like a like a mouth in the stomach, and the mouth can open, and a smaller Gundam comes out. It's really weird. And every time, what's it? Uh, whoever who was the pilot of the of the sniper Gundam in Gundam Build Fighters Try? He was always scared of that mobile suit, and I would just whenever that mobile suit was on screen, I would always just like laugh because it's such a goofy design. That anime took itself way too seriously. I hate Gundam Build Fighters Try so much. But yeah, if Gundam The End didn't exist, I would say Gundam Death Scythe. But the thing is that I still like Gundam Death Scythe. I mean, I have the Master Grade model kit of it in my collection right now. And I built it on stream. Uh, but yeah... Oh yeah, don't forget the hands also had faces under them. That is true. That Gundam model was very much just a Gurren Lagann gunman with the amount of faces it had. Gundam The End is cool, though. Uh, it's cool to you. I think it is very dumb looking to me personally. I enjoyed the other Gundams on that team, like the Transient Gundam. That was a really cool... If there was one good thing to come out of Gundam Build Fighters Try, it was the Transient Gundam. Let's see, Transient Gundam and also the Build Burning Gundam. I really like the Build Burning. Okay, you, you say... Uh, Gundam The End is, uh, uh, is stupid in an endearing way. I think it's stupid in an insulting way. I do not like Gundam The End. But yeah, I do like its other teammates, Gundam Portent, uh, the, the Cat Girl Gundam, and the Gundam Trans- or Transient Gundam. Uh, I think the edgiest I can handle is probably the Denial Gundam, because that one was like, that one was actually really cool in the anime. Yeah, I really regret not getting the Denial Gundam. Or no, not the Denial Gundam. I know in the manga for Gundam Build Fighters Try, they recolored the Denial Gundam into black and gold and gave it a sword, and I always wanted that model kit. Wait, the Lightning Gundam, that's the sniper one. Totally forgot. Oh, man. But want to know what I'm also waiting for for Gundam model kits? Oh, shoot. Uh, I, to this day, one of my favorite... Like, I like Gundams that look weird. 
So one of my favorite designs is the Turn A Gundam, which uh, USA Gundam Store has the Master Grades on pre-order right now, so I'm definitely pre-ordering that. But uh, again, following my trend of very weird-looking Gundams, I really love the Gundam G Self, and I'm still waiting for a Master Grade G Self. Frickin' Gundam Reconquista in G came out 10 years ago, and we still have not gotten a Master Grade of that Gundam. What is up with that? I've been waiting so long. All of my favorite Gundam designs don't have Master Grades. All two of them. The Gundam G Self and the Gundam Age FX. I'm still holding out hope. I'm huffing Hopium and Copium that the Master Grade F Age FX a prototype will be reused and like turned into an actual model kit. Oh yeah, and also the fact that the that the build strike got a model kit, but not the build burning Gundam. That's not cool. I wish the build burning got a master grade, because that one's a really fun high grade. I should know, I've built it seven times. Because I have all of the variants of it, except for the Gundam build metaverse stuff. I kind of don't feel the need to buy the Gundam Build Metaverse junk. Let's see, what we need... Okay, win matches. Okay, we still just need a win matches. Uh, the, the G Arcane is also a really cool mobile suit that I missed out on. I should have bought the model kit when it was still available. A lot of the G Reconquista mobile suits are really cool. Let's see, because I had an elf bullock. I remember on Amazon, back when I was first buying model kits in 2013 or 2014, uh, I remember Amazon was selling the elf bullock, and one seller, I think they sold, they had too much, so they were selling elf bullock model kits for five bucks a piece. So of course I bought like five of them. So for a while, I just had custom elf bullocks uh, in my collection. Yeah. Also, what a weird name. Why would they have slang for ball sack in a Gundam name? That's like if they named a Gundam like the Gundam Scrote or the Gundam Taint. I would buy the Gundam Bussy, though. Or the Gundam G Cooch. The Gundam G Spot. <laughs> I'd buy that. I'd build a million of them. <laughs> but yeah. I think I might be getting back into Gundam like a lot more than I usually would be. I think starting like next year because there's been news that uh, Transformers, the, the, what's it? The like head dude who's in charge of the Power Rangers department is moving back into Transformers. And that means Transformers, or he just moved back into now leading Transformers, which he was the lead for Transformers back in the hollow era of Transformers. So I think starting in 2026, I'm Husky just going to be like raid. stopping collecting Transformers again and just going back into Gundam all the way. Hopefully then I'll be building my first perfect raid. I'm still holding out hope that I can somehow find, because the perfect raid that I want to build out of any other perfect raid is the 711 colored Gundam Astray. And I'm holding out hope that one day I'll be able to find that model kit for a good price and build it.
Whoops. I need to do this. No. I think your first perfect raid should be the RX-78-2 Unleashed. Yeah, I was also thinking that or maybe perfect raid uh, Banshee. Because uh, Banshee is also another Gundam that I really enjoy. I would get the Banshee and then I would get the Episode 4 Armament. Where it has the vibrating nail and the railgun. Yeah, it is the best one technically, but at the same time, I feel like I have enough RX-78-2 representation in my collection. Because I have the Master Grade, I have the Beyond Global Model Kit. I actually have three of the Beyond Global Model Kits. Because uh, one of my friends who uh, works at the Australian branch in Bandai, he actually sent me a campaign version of the Beyond Global, which is the Glow in the Dark version. So, but yeah, uh, then I have the regular version, or I have two of the regular versions, uh, but yeah, just don't go for the Exia and you'll be fine. That is true, the Exia one never really, really grabbed me, which is weird because that's like the, that's consistently the most available uh, perfect rate. I've seen that on store shelves. Or not store shelves, but like consistently at con shelves. And even at my local comic book store, they have the Perfect Raid Exia. But just nobody wants to buy it. Yeah, it just feels weird uh, to get the full experience you need to buy the separately uh, purchased lighting kit. And I don't know. Look, I like the Exia design. It just looks... I don't know. Something about it being Perfect Raid... I just don't enjoy. There's more where that came from. Die. There we go. No. Although, I also do like the Gundam Mark II, but I think having a perfect grade of a Mark II is, would be really cool. I don't know, I when it comes to Gundams, I just like, I like Gundams that either A, have a weird ass design, or B, just look evil. Because like, yeah, my taste in Gundams is either G-Self or Turn A, and then Banshee and, uh, what's it, Banshee and Mark II. Boom. Nice. Uh, where did their rocket go? Did their rocket fly off? Probably did. Boom. And a boom. Let me take that. Gotta, gotta fling it. Can't just run with it. Boom, there we go. Nice. Good job, team. I like unique or red Gundams. Ooh, red Gundams are pretty rare. Because, let's see, there's the Build Burning, or that entire line. And there's the Reborns Gundam. There really is not a lot of red Gundams. You can also do... Char's Gundam RX-78-2. Wherever that fits in the canon, I have no idea. To this day, I still don't know. Uh, oh yeah, a stray red frame. How could I forget the red frame? That's like the most iconic red Gundam. Uh, the, the Unicorn Gundam, if you count the red lights in it. See, I'm looking at my shelf right now. What Gundams do I have? I do not have any red Gundams. They're all white Gundams. I need a perfect grade gun tank, not gonna lie. That would be awesome. I would love a perfect grade gun tank. 
Oh yeah, the the Visago chest breaker is also a red Gundam. That is true. That is true. Oh yeah, the uh, gun cannon. That is. Well, I guess technically that's not a Gundam, but the gun cannon is a red mobile suit. I want to get a master grade gun cannon and a master grade uh gun tank because I want that trio because I have a master grade a master grade 2.0 RX 78 2 but I just want that trio yeah let's see I'm gonna have to think I'll probably go look on uh, Dalong.net just to see what other, what other, uh, what's it, uh, Gundams there are. Oh, you son of a gun. There's also that third party Takeda Shingen Gundam figure. I have no idea what that is. When it comes, so I'm pretty heavily into the Transformers third party. I know nothing about Gundam third party. So anytime it's referenced, I just go, what is going on? I don't know anything. I do want to get a third party Gundam model kit though, just to see what it's like. Oh, the Delta Astray is another Gundam that is red. Oh, wait, the Delta Astray. Is that the Astray where the frame is white and the armor is red? Or is that the... No, wait, that was called the Astray Turn Red. That's what it was called. Which is also a very neat mobile suit. But I have... Oh, so that is the Delta Astray. Okay. No... Oh. Double kill. Enemy captured your flag. Enemy has an F7 sniper. Let's see. What other model kits do I want? Because I want a Master Grades the book in my collection. Uh let's see, what other Master Grades am I really sort of like looking for to get? Uh if they ever make a Master Grade Extreme of the Banshee, I want one of those. Electricity is hazardous. I kind of want the Master Grade Gundam Thunderbolt and the Psycho Zaku from Thunderbolt. Because I love that movie so much. I love Gundam Thunderbolt, uh, December Sky. Bandit Flower was very bad, but I very much love the original uh, Gundam Thunderbolt movie. What else? Mm. I guess a Gundam The Origin. The, the RX-78-02. That one's a really good model kit. I used to have one, but I think I'm, I think I must have messed up in customizing it, and I couldn't really... No, I, I think I broke one of the, the leg connectors. That's what happened. But yeah, the RX-7802 is a really cool Master Grade. Have you seen the new Master Grade narrative? Oh yeah, the, the Katoki Hajime version. Uh, it's alright. I still... Like, if it had... If it had armor on its skinny arms, then I would like it, but I'm just not into the narrative Gundam. I did like the movie Gundam narrative. That one was a... I enjoyed that movie. But the Gundam narrative itself, I don't really vibe with the design. Because it just feels like an... Like... Uh, what's it? It just feels like a nothing mobile suit that's just in between the new Gundam and the Psycho Gundam. Or, not new Gundam and the Gundam Unicorn. And I'm just like, it just... It... 
looks a little bit like the both of them without any of the sauce of those Gundams that it's trying to be. You know, you get what I'm saying? Narrative just doesn't got the sauce. It cannot be goaded. Oh my gosh, the Phoenix Gundam. That is really cool. I... Uh, the Phoenix Gundam wasn't as cool as I thought it would be in Gundam Narrative, but I do like the model kit. I just need to make sure I'm wearing gloves when I'm building it. No. Ooh, Extreme Gundam is also red. That is true. Then again, the red Extreme Gundam doesn't have a model kit. It's only the blue Extreme Gundam. Man, Gundam... That reminds me. We should... Uh, why have Bandai not released a new Gundam versus game? Gundam versus games are so goaded. They should be on PC. Why are they not on PC? Freaking love Gundam versus. At least I played it a ton with uh, Gundam versus Gundam Extreme Boost. Uh, I even got the premium sound edition. Yes, I paid $120 just to get like 60 more songs because I was stupid back then. Uh, but yeah, Gundam Versus, such a good series. It's a shame that they haven't ported the newest one on to PC. I think there's a third party like pirated version that you can play, but uh, yeah. Uh, Unicorn Phoenix, it looks sick, but I feel like it would be annoying to build with gold metallic parts. That is true. I feel like if you're gonna uh, build the, the Unicorn or the Gundam uh, Phoenix, then you might as well just buy a regular Unicorn and then just spray paint it gold. It'll be way easier to work with at that point. Hey, Mako, give me good anime cosplay ideas. Uh, define good and define, like what you're sort of looking for for vibes because i saw a lot of hell divers cosplays at sakura khan that'd be a fun one or we can do a kazuma from konosuba let's see i don't know what else Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Literally any women. Uh, okay. You could be... You could be very boring and go as your forger. Uh, let's see. Who else could you go? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Soletta Mercury from Gundam Witch from Mercury. Oh wait, Choo Choo Pan Lunch from Witch from Mercury. She's got a very fun design. You'd have to get very creative training her space buns though. Uh, let's see. How about... Hmm... I'm asking for a friend and I have no idea what they want. Uh, Atelier Ryza from the Atelier games. The one with the thick thighs and such. Let's see. What other girl? Literally every VTuber you could always... Oh yeah, Miku always goes hard. That is true. Yeah, literally any VTuber. I thought you would have ideas because you've cosplayed before. Well, I know exactly what I can cosplay. I don't know... I don't know what your friend is okay with cosplaying. Uh, 
Oh yeah, wait, we need to check what uh, things we need to do. Win matches, killing spree, and complete matches. Okay, I can get two killing sprees. Wait, how many... How much time? Oh, we only have a minute? I've been playing this game for an hour? What? I'll probably get the rest off stream. Yeah, what is, even is the reward for this week? Oh, it's just a... What is that? Looks like a... Like a giant fork. Like a tuning fork or a plate that you put on your arm. That's a boring thing. But yeah, I think after this match, I will call it a stream. So yeah. Yeah, it's almost midnight and I do have something to do in the morning. But yeah, just, just tell them like VTubers. Like VTubers are such a very design or very genre that you can definitely uh, find something for your friend to cosplay. When was the last Master Grade release anyway? I'm pretty sure Narrative is the first Master Grade release of 2024. Um, we had the Master Grade SD Barbatos in uh, February. But then again, that's not a real Master Grade slot. If we're talking about, like, actual Master Grades, the last actual Master Grade, I actually don't... No, it was the... It, I think it was earlier this year. Or, sorry, not earlier this year. Uh, earlier last year, which was the uh, Zeta Gundam... Uh, Katoke Hajime 2.0. So that one was definitely the last one. I remember. If we're talking about before that, then I don't know. Kyrios? The Virtue? Oh wait, no. The one before that was probably the, the Barbatos. Well, I'm not sure if it's a 2.0 or not. All I know is that for the Zeta Gundam, it is a second version of the Zeta Gundam. I think this one is the Zeta Gundam version Katoki Hajime. Which, in opposite of Katoki Hajime's... Uh, in opposite of, like, what he does, this version, like, the Katoki version of the Zeta Gundam is actually more animation accurate and not as detailed. Which is very strange. You would think that because it's a Katoki model kit that it would be more, you know, detail-oriented. But no, they just decided, or Katoki was just like, no, I'm going to make it more animation accurate. Curios was made in 2020? What? What? No. That that can't be. The Curios just came out, like, last year. I'm not old. I'm not old. Master Grade Barbatos definitely wasn't in 2015. That was definitely uh, not 10 years ago. No, wait. Now I'm starting to remember. So the last Master Grade or like Master Grade's releases that came out pretty recently were the Master Grade Extreme uh, Freedom and the Master Grade Extreme uh, Unicorn Gundam. Those were also, those actually took up Master Grade slots. So those were also pretty recent, as in the past two years. Gave them some recommendations. Thanks gamers. She did an Ina cosplay at one point and Pecora. Oh, Ina and Pecora? Okay. So I can tell your friend has no boobs. Just like me. So let's see. She could cosplay then uh, Gura. She can cosplay uh, a lot of the JP VTubers. Ooh, I think she would be... If she cosplayed Ina and Pecora, she could cosplay a Suisei pretty well. Yeah, she said she wanted to do Gura. Nice. Flat, flat-chested girls, we all think alike. Flat 
Oh yeah, tell her to do Suisse. Suisse, who else is flat chested? Uh is Subaru a flatty or is she like a B cup? I don't remember. Oh Matsuri. She's pretty flat, I think. Have you ever cosplayed as Rukia, or has someone suggested it to you? Nobody has ever actually suggested that I cosplay as Rukia. I don't have short hair uh, for that. Before you guys mentioned wigs, I hate wigs. So that's why I mainly cosplay characters that don't require me to wear a wig. But I think having uh, a... Uh, what's it? Having like that... A, a uniform that all of the characters in Bleach wear. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know who else I would uh, cosplay in Bleach. I think Giselle Jewel. Uh, I could cosplay her because we've got like the exact same hair. And her cosplay is pretty simple. She just wears like a blue dress sort of thing. Uh, let's see. I want to cosplay... Uh, who else could I cosplay that I don't need a haircut to do? Uh, I guess I could do P.A.-san from Bochi the Rock. Uh, P.A.-san is the girl, she owns the, the rock club that they practice at. Let's see. I don't know who else I could cosplay. I guess I could cosplay Meloko from Nijisanji Ien. If only I still liked Nijisanji Ien. Oh, I would love... I Actually... I would love to cosplay as Mari from Evangelion. Sure, I would need to dye my hair, but I don't mind being brunette. I think I looked better when I was brunette. Uh, but yeah. I'd love to cosplay Mari. And I saw somebody cause... Uh, these two... Uh, at... Uh, these two women at the... Uh, anime convention. They rocked up being dressed up as Asuka and Mari, and I was like, oh man, I wish I could, I wish I could cosplay, uh, Asuka or Mari, more so Mari, but Asuka would be cool too. Uh, what about Lisa Yadomaru from Bleach? I actually don't know who that is. I need to get familiar with Bleach, because I haven't watched Bleach since it aired on Toonami. Back like 10, no, 15 years ago. Oh my goodness, half my lifetime ago. I guess that's a little bit, that's not exactly half my lifetime ago, but still. Mako, can you shred? As in skateboard? I used to skateboard. I now just have a... What's it? What do they call it? A ripstick. I I think those are way cooler than uh uh skateboards. Okay, let let me look up. God, I hope this doesn't show up on stream. Okay, because freaking Retney, you're saying that she's got uh, dojins. Okay, Lisa, Yado, Maru Bleep. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can definitely cosplay her. She's easy. Yeah, I can definitely do her. I just need to get the right color uniform and her bankai and all that. But yeah, I, I can definitely do her. Oh, just sent you an image on Discord. I see. Well, my... My my phone is uh, on silent, so I guess I wouldn't have been able to see the pic anyways, but. 
Uh, but yeah. Oh, her new look is spoiler heavy. I see, I see. All right. Well, I think this will be the end of this stream. Uh, and yeah, thank you all for coming to this stream. I am planning to stream tomorrow. Uh, just doing a little Lego stream. Nothing too crazy. And I think the Lego stream would only be like maybe a couple hours. I don't plan on going more than three hours. But yeah. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time, I'll just be making Lego. Or I think maybe I might be able to do the stream a little bit earlier in the day. But yeah. We'll see when once that actually comes. But yeah, thanks you all for watching. And thank you all for being so patient for my two-week absence. But yeah, now we're back in the streaming game. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to hydrate and go to sleep at a proper time. And don't stay up all night. And all that stuff. But yeah. Anyways, bye. Oh, I have to end this because I have to go pee so bad. Okay, bye.